God damn, I know I'm late this motherfucker. We're gonna go right in this motherfucker. Shout out to Larry Small. He, he Angel in Ascendant. Uh -huh. Elijah Thomas. <laughs> I ain't gonna take too much of y'all time up tonight either, so we're gonna go right into it in this motherfucker so I can get finished uh, knocking shit out of this motherfucker. You better believe it. Yeah. In the day. Yeah. So, yeah, we're gonna do something, bro. Break down some interpretation so you can know what the fuck you looking at. So when you looking at it, you can get the spiritual natures out of it and you don't get lost into the physical natures in this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. You better believe it. Flight boss, bitch, you know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an Terry's move. Well, I got to do it. You're not listening to the mind of an Terry's move. I'm the Archangel Uriel. I did it all backwards. I don't know. It's I, it's weird when you do it live, when you do it from regular just videos and shit like that. I can't even do it live. God damn. But yeah, we gonna get, hold on. Now I got to do it, though. Flight boss, bitch, you know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an Terry's move. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to care how God do these some motherfucking responsibilities. And right now, we're going to talk about how to interpret the Bible the right way, the correct way, so you can see it, and you can get the energies out of it in a sufficient way, and maximize the potential of whatever you're trying to manifest in your motherfucking life, because it, it really ain't a book about nothing else but you, and how you correlate your witchcraft and your rituals and spells. Shout out to V.I. Izzo and this motherfucker. LV Goo in this motherfucker, uh, Trontius in this motherfucker, the Archangel Anton 666, he, he, I like that name, Dior 999, Star 666, I like that name, Milo in this motherfucker, Spirit JNC in this motherfucker, let's say Dark Doll, let's say Dark Doll, he, he, Miss Savage in this motherfucker, better believe it, uh, Esoteric Cloud Suffer Overdose in this motherfucker, Tony Battle, so yeah, you know what I'm saying, so we're gonna break down some interpretations, I wanna break down a disclaimer also, and like I said, I want to break this down so you can get the spiritual natures out of it. So we're not going to, because it's a lot of different perspectives you can get out of the Bible. So we're not going to get into the, the secondhand westernized um, analogies of the Bible, a.k.a. that's conflating the Bible with um, anatomy or conflating it with biology in some way, shape or form. Uh, we're going to get into the concept of the Bible, how it's truly supposed to be spoken about based upon it copying ancient texts and things of that nature. And these ancient texts is trying to help you understand how we created these desires in the first place. You see what I'm saying? Before it became phallic religion, before we created the blood cells that then um, became so dense that now we have created externalization in this low vibrational realm of reality that we utilize as sex and egg cells and sperm cells and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Or as far as how to, how to, uh, three realms, three realms working within within you as far as the brains like um this brain the heart brain and a sexual organ brain so that'd be hell sheol or uh abraham's bosom the ass and send his uh his ass in some way shape or form if you if you ain't nothing but a piece of shit before you die you know the heart area and shit like that, that'd be earth, and then it'd be the heavens in this motherfucker, uh, which would be the brain in some way, shape, or form. That's getting into anatomy, anatomy and biology and neurology and things of that nature. So this is westernized science. So this is what westernized um, and phallic religion and all that shit come from, you know what I'm saying? Based upon thinking that this is what these individuals was talking about way back in the day and things of that nature where they was trying to understand themselves and the ability of trying to understand yourself you're trying to understand your natures but they're coming at it from a perspective of trying to understand how they derive their natures not worshiping the natures or thinking that this is what we're actually talking about always remember we're utilizing light to explain light l-i-t-e shit that don't necessarily that's not necessarily there what what don't need to be i mean what don't need to be spoken should be felt was that I forget that terminology and things of that nature, but things work in mysterious ways and shit like that. Right. So that's the that's the aspect of the first people who was trying to understand themselves and started to create shapes and start to have sex and things of that nature. They was trying to understand where did these natures come from? So they was looking at the environment as far as representations of what derived out of their anim animalistic natures. So a lot of times, especially when you get to old tribes, it's things of that nature, especially if um, if you got any like Indian ancestors or if you are Indian or whatever like that, then you probably still correlate to a lot of these um, a lot of these energies a lot of times. Like keep like y'all might see a lot of wolves in my in my living room, um, you know, what I'm saying or 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 leopards and lions and things of that nature. You know, what I'm saying because this is it's not that we're worshiping animals or things of that Shout out to fit God as well. well, well ee, ee. Animals represent animal uh, animalistic natures. So this means everything. So. Shout out to all my Katabas out there. If, if, if you are a part of that tribe, you understand you come out of the water. Well, we all, y'all all do, but 
you supposed to understand that, right? And Kataba just mean a certain area and things of that nature. So it really like natives and and, and it just really ain't those names was given by uh, Latin motherfuckers too. So we don't get too far into that motherfucking shit either. You know, pilgrim, um, pilgrim ass motherfucker shit. He <laughs> thank you so much for the donation. Say, say the sauce. <laughs> He said, let's get out the hospital. Demons can't hold me down. Can't hold you down. Can't go. He shot the P. Diddy monkey ass. But it ain't that we worship in animals and things of that nature. We understand that animals worship certain energy spectrums. And y'all used to call fire the spirit. So, uh, so spirit and, or fire just represents imagination or vision. So when you have a vision... That gives you potential, and if you act out that vision, you can have capabilities of actually playing out that vision down here in the third dimension in some way, shape, or form. I hate to say down here. Shout out to Fly, Boss, Boogie, 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 So, you know what I'm saying? I hate to say shout out to M MJ, MJ, ee, ee. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I hate to say down in this motherfucker, but the whole purpose is when you tap into one of the, I what's the idea of a bear? A bear is aggressive. But it could be calm, cool, and collected. But you know not to get too close because it could be threatening. So this is like a, a person that don't express ego. But this is a person who 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 got enough energy that you know not to step on no toes or, or cross no motherfucking lines. Right? So that if you go across a TP or you go in South Carolina or on the borders of North Carolina in somewhere, say, perform, they, or go to a reservation, reservation that you will see things like that. But it's not necessarily saying that the bear is a is a god. You get what I'm saying? So take that a step further. Water. Water is a representation of our emotions, right? Um, um, so uh, like um, fire is a representation of our visions. The trees is a representation of our earth, our practicality, our ability to be stable and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? It's stability and practicality. See, this, this is something we are supposed to know as kids as babies, but since y'all cling on to what they teach y'all and things of that nature, and then a lot of y'all may very well be from different locations and might not be native to this land and shit like that. So y'all don't know nothing else to cling on to but African-American or black and things of that nature. You are in, in indulged into their concept of of spirituality, right? So they took, they took these things and made it all masculine to the deepest level, to the logical level also, to the point that they made everything created with the word. Where every when the, when the word was created with the vibration, you can't get no sound or no no feeling or no desire or no will to externalize yourself and to live. Shout out to Abby, baby. E -he. You won't have that without no nature. You won't have no word sign residual without the feeling first. You see what I'm saying? Without that desire first. You won't have the left brain. So they got y'all lost into the left brain because they're trying to build the world backwards in some way, shape, or form. But they think that they're doing the, the good thing. But we're going to get into interpreting the, uh, how to actually interpret these things. Because if you once you understand how to clearly look at energies, then you won't get lost. You know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of times y'all might get lost because y'all got on the slave ship and shit like that. So y'all think that y'all think that these um, I hate to I hate to get into race, but y'all think that these Germans and shit like that stole something from 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 what y'all want to call africans or some shit like that and then that's how y'all claiming y'all power no these motherfuckers stole everything from indians they still they stole shit from natives you see natives on their statues and shit like that that african motherfucker ah! that african shit that is they shit they came and called that shit Africa and shit like that. They and this is a good and this is a good segue into getting into interpreting the, uh, the Bible right now, right? This is what you need to understand, right? The Bible, Chris, Christianity, is not what Jesus and and Peter and Paul and them was teaching. They was doing some witchcraft and rituals with shamans and the, and them was doing and priests and all them was doing. No, not priests, rabbis and priests peep game. Rabbis and priests was y'all politicians back then. You see what I'm saying? And they had like a little war going on, like Jerusalem and shit like that. But we ain't gonna get too far into that. But rabbis and priests and shit like that, right? They they was acting like the stars, but not but worshiping the stars, not being the stars, right? And then that's where you get people who practice witchcraft. They think they are these things in that nature, right? And then when they come across, they fuck up the civilization. In some way, shape, or form. So when people practice real witchcraft and what we all supposed to do, right? You got people who want to control that. 
So they was chopping people heads off who was doing these things. But then they was sent back and peeping game. Priests, rabbis was coming up with mathematics. Mathematics, reverse psychology, a.k.a. They was learning from people who was acting themselves. You see what I'm saying? And once they learned it, they like, oh, okay, this is something we can use. We don't got to kill people. We don't got to keep killing people like this. People who think like this, we got a way to govern them now. Right? And, and create a, a law of the land. So this is Rome. So then Rome wanted to stop killing them. So Rome started copying these people who, do, who don't want to be up under no law. People who was practicing witchcraft. They didn't know anything about Christianity. Nothing about Christianity. Whoever whoever this the ruler is, uh uh Chris Chris or Chris, whatever these motherfucking names is, who was ruling at that time, right? With their language and their native tongue, they peep game with their priests and rabbis, told them to come up with some type of trick or something like that, right? And then and then called it and made it a law. And then they called it Christianity. And they say, okay, we tired of cutting people heads off like this. Or hanging people on the cross like this. So these people die for y'all. If y'all want to continue to think like these people, we got a place for people who think like that now. You see what I'm saying? And then now here come priests and rabbis and shit like that calling it Christianity. You see what I'm saying? And then Christianity is really just a spell. It's, it's last. It's late. Christianity is a Jewish spell from Jews. You see what I'm saying? The Jews created a golem to practice on everybody who think like Jesus. So people who think like Jesus, they all going to lead to Dalmatian anyway. So the Jews practice some type of, because the Jews, they what they worship and things of that nature, it's a different kind of concept. They, they kind of follow the moon. You know what I'm saying? And then when you get the... Uh, westernized things in that nature right they worship the masculine energies so that would be like the sun and jupiter and things of that nature right and saturn right once you get the feminine energies that would be like venus darkness venus moon uh motherfucking um neptune getting initiated and things of that nature you see what i'm saying and then mercury lies in between to help you understand that it's equilibrium in some way shape or form so you you gotta uh be able to uh have the right construct mentally to know not to get washed away by these lights or whatever that you want to call them influences or bodies of water you see what i'm saying so getting into this, uh the whole concept of how things are spiraling off you need to know that it's internal and outside and things of that nature and this is how all anatomy and things that come into motherfucking place so let me not waste too much time let me get let me get into this motherfucking shit thank you so much for the donation uh fierce living because e i feel like i'm about to go on to some other shit so let me go ahead and finish this shit so i want to break down the lies First, the first motherfucking lies. And then, I mean, the, the first five lies, which I broke down in the last video, but I'm just going to run them down real quick before we get uh, deep into this motherfucking shit so we can start breaking down each term in the motherfucking Bible. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, we'll sit here and talk about history forever. We'll get lost in the history. You know what I'm saying? Real quick. So we need to make sure we don't get... But like I said, Christianity is was practiced on by... They all come from Hinduism, right? Brahma, right? So it's Brahma... Um, it's, 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 it's so it's um, Hinduism, Buddhism, um, Hin Hinduism, Buddhism, uh, uh, Judaism, um, then Islam and Christianity. Islam is another one that got practiced witchcraft on by um, by Jews and things of that nature. So keep that uh, keep that in mind also. But for the most part, they practice witchcraft on these individuals for anybody who think like that in that perspective, because that's the wrong outlook. So this is where we get the concept of Martin Luther's and shit getting utilized for political agendas and shit like that for people uh, can get rocked to sleep. Now, we're going to get into uh, the, uh, the first disclaimers. Well, the first five disclaimers. First disclaimer. First lot, because this lets you understand that whoever wrote the Bible didn't fully understand life. So. If you cling, if you clinging on to the Bible like there's nothing else beyond that in some way, shape, or form, you have, you're gonna have to chalk that up. You're wrong. Other otherwise, you're gonna get left into some type of Protestant dumbness, aka having to utilize logic and be a 21st century demon, aka utilize apologetics or have to utilize science because science has proven the the mentality wrong so much that your mental construct and worldview is falling to the point that you got to utilize science just to make sense whatever worldview that you lost in that they practice witchcraft on your monkey ass in the first place. So if you don't want to be lost into that trail, 
because you probably already utilizing forms of science or logic, um, logic demon, that's demonic logic. You're probably already utilizing logic and, and trying to say that God authored logic. So you worship the demon in some way, shape or form that that's demonic spirit. But at the same time, and you think it's good. But what you need to keep in mind is this, right? You're going to be forever down that trail. You're going to be forever down that motherfucker up infinite regress from a mental mind state. I don't give a fuck if you are arguing with another scientist talking about they that's infinite regress. Your mentality is infinite regress just by believing certain things. You got too many beliefs. Thank you so much for the donation. It's low. Like, he is just like, thank you. Oh, you said was my uh was my birthday. Uh uh my birth I, I'm an Aries, April 6th. Ee he better believe it. Got them a 17 degrees Aries, sun, 17 degrees Leo, ascendant, 8 degrees uh Sagittarius moon. You know what I'm saying? All right, now let's check this out, right? Now, here's the mother. So here's the motherfucking lies, because this is let you know that uh, motherfucker. Uh, look, we don't need to know all that motherfucking shit. Why is what are you trying to do? Get on the get on the goddamn energy uh, internet and do some composition charts or some goddamn shit. I'll do that. Ah, uh, uh, who the fuck is you? Motherfucker, do I know you? Ah, uh, real shit. I fucked with you though. I fucked with you real shit though. But it's on the internet. It's on it. I posted plenty of times in this motherfucker. Goddamn it! I don't. I don't want to stop my video to, 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 to give you some shit just for everybody watching right now to do the same shit. That's stupid as fuck. All right, now look. Check this out. Right. First lie. Now look. That the horizon or uh or arch. That the horizon or arch or arc is above or uh is above you. So keep that in mind also. Like that shit is above you. That shit ain't a motherfucker above you. Because you was born laying down. You wasn't standing up right first. So you know your chakras go around you. There's no such thing as your chakras going up and down. There's no such thing as an ascension as a descension. There's only a motherfucker distant, a distance and a closeness. Something closer to your soft spot. And something more distant away, so it create distance and coldness and dryness. Now, from a temperament state, this is a uh, this deals with our mentality and our emotions, right? Sometimes we become very distant, very cold, and or or feel very alone. Now, from this is how you understand it from a native spirit. Us as spirits being in these natures, we created the chakras that we see outside of us that we call lesser lights. Mason stole that from natives. That's why we got the arrows. We we created that shit to move in that perspective because as spirits, we're no thing, shape and form. Teamwork makes the dream work. If we're all moving in a certain way, we're all going to create that desire. It turned into a chakra wheel. That's what a star is. We're on Malakuth, Earth right now. So it's moving to the left. You see what I'm saying? So for the most part, here's another concept that the Bible lost because they're westernizing shit and they're trying to come on lands and not understand the energies on the motherfucking land. The motherfuckers created this goddamn shit. You see what I'm saying? The sun ain't motherfucking going up and down. And the sun ain't motherfucking moving to the fucking right either. Look look at it like this. When you a person, you asshole. So when you moving, you just moving asshole. Ain't nothing follow. You, you see what I'm saying? All of you is moving. And y'all got y'all own little rope. Everything got their rotation in their own perspective. Your brain animal is where it's at. Your heart animal where it's at. Your sexual organs where they at and everything else. And then y'all all move accordingly in position. That's how you look at a being. Now, anybody teach y'all any dumb lostness or concepts, a.k.a. the Bible, a.k.a. the Masons, a.k.a. how they got everybody lost in the world, trying to teach, think they're thinking that they smart under their pyramid system. They got y'all teaching this up and down as above, so below, dumbass motherfucker shit. And the sun ain't even motherfucking moving. The only reason you think the sun is moving to the motherfucking right is because as a body of as a body of water, we're moving to the left. Key word, rotating as a body of water. So we're stationary the same way like the sun is stationary, and same way like all these other fucking planets is stationary, and then we're and then we're rotating. And that's why we're seeing perspectives the way that we see it. So y'all y'all think the sun is coming up and down. No, we on an axis. And as, as this body of water, Earth, Tiamat, Gaia, whatever, when we rotate to the left, everything we see outside of us look like it's going to the right. Now, here's the thing, right? In our positions, we're vibrating. So we might be, so us being on Earth, just us on an axis, this star, sometimes we might be up. Sometimes we might be down. Same way with the other planets. Sometimes they may be up. 
Sometimes they may be down. So look at it like a, a water wave. So, so sometimes we close to the sun. Sometimes we far away from the sun. You see what I'm saying? But that don't mean the sun is moving to the right. And that don't mean Jupiter. You, you, y'all get what I'm saying? Once you understand the planets from that, that perspective and we just moving stationary. And it's like a vibration thing. But we're in one spot. And that's why we see it. Once you understand that vibration up and down, now you're about to understand orbs. Now you're about to understand why the moon is a reflection. Now you're about to understand why these things is our natures and why we bouncing these things off. Now you're about to understand possession, recession. You know what I'm saying? Now you're about to understand why it's retrogrades. It's not technically a planet going backwards. It's us moving slowly away from a planet that we was close to based upon when we was on that vibration. You see what I'm saying? So it's, it's based upon math. So the way they got y'all looking at astrology, it ain't what you looking at, it's how you look at it. Y'all looking at shit and like thinking that shit is moving through shit. So the way y'all looking at it on these computer systems is that way. With their mind frame. But that's not even the right mind frame. You see what I'm saying? And if you understand it from the truest mind frame, you will be able to understand everything that comes from that motherfucking shit. Which is, it goes beyond the words, signs and sigils, and having to find a word, or arm um, and jubilant, uh, all this dumbass shit, and, or find a password, aka, when you get ready to have an orgasm around a bunch of other men, if you in one of these Masonic ceremonies or some shit like that, whatever word that you give, this vibration, be, be, before you actually externalize or bust a nut or whatever like that, whatever... You supposed to have construction and, and the and name that you're gonna title that light, right? And then for the most part, this so this is basically what George Washington did. So if, if y'all know about um um what they call these Mason um they like pictures Mason um 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 carpets or some shit like that. It's it's called Mason um I forgot what the fuck you call it, but. It's like it's like a map. It's like a map, right? And you can see George Washington on shit. Like, nah, it ain't, it ain't no Mason Square. You know what I'm saying? And you don't even know what I'm talking about. No, even, don't talk nothing about no Mason shit. He, he, not, not, no ta- not no tapestry either. But it's like it's like a tapestry. You know what I'm saying? It's a uh, um. I might as well stop talking about what the fuck I'm even talking about because huh? there ain't even nobody who really into this watching my shit right now. So I ain't even about to talk about that. But like I said, right? We're about to get into um um. As far as these lies in this motherfucker, right? So here's the thing, right? Uh, uh, first lie is the horizon and the arch is not above you or no, uh, none of that shit. Y'all still throwing names and shit. No, they don't. It, they don't carpenter. A carpenter is an actual person who who make who make what I'm actually talking about. It's a, it's a um. See now y'all make me want to say it now. It ain't it ain't no tasty though. Y'all leave me alone. Y- y'all not in, y'all not into this shit. I see that right now by what y'all with this what y'all talking about and how y'all saying it. Y'all not into shit. I'm about to stop talking about Mason in general. I'm going to stop talking about that shit. For real. I'm put, hanging myself on the cross for no goddamn reason. I didn't hear my audience. Ah! Ah! Real shit. Ah! Real shit. Because this it, nah, it ain't no goddamn scroll. I'm about to, hold on. I'm about to think of it right now. And this this the, this about to be the last time I talk about Mason because if I got if I got to figure it out, that that let me know y'all not even on no beginner stage of it. Uh, let me see. Uh, it's a uh, let me see. Uh, hold on. Let me see Mason. Hold on. Hold up. It's a uh, Mason. I forget what the fuck it's called, but it's like a picture. It's what George Washington had in this motherfucker. And uh, um, I, I, I forget what the fuck it's called. Uh, and it, uh, no, not no banner, not no scroll. I'm, I'm going to finish. I'm, I'm, I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. Uh, George Washington. Hold on. George Washington. Hold on. George Washington apron. He hit it. I'm gonna get into this motherfucker video. Y'all, y'all stop throwing names up here. Y'all, y'all know what the hell y'all talking about. It's a um. Y'all know what y'all talking about. Uh. 
Uh, damn. Fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. Y'all don't know either. Just yes, fuck it. It's 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 a uh, but it's it's like a it's basically a carpet. You know what I'm saying? So if somebody if somebody was a mason or was into this shit, they would have automatically knew what I they would have automatically knew what I was talking about. They would have automatically knew what I was talking about. Uh, but I I don't remember the motherfucking name for the uh the, the carpets. It's uh motherfucking no. Somebody said carpenty. <laughs> ah, y'all stop. Sorry, y'all stop. Ah, uh, it's a uh, damn. What the fuck do they call that? Is I just uh, I was I I was just thinking about it. I was just thinking about it. Yeah, fuck it. All right, yeah, fuck it. I I'm, I'm done because I I don't even wanna. It ain't, it's a uh. God damn, what the fuck? The fuck? Damn, what the fuck? The name ain't that important though, but damn, what the fuck is it called? Uh, are on a carpet. On a carpet. What the fuck? What the fuck? It's it's a uh it's a uh Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my! I, I swear, and, I, and I'm gonna remember it. So I'm gonna, so no, no, fuck that. I'm about to remember it because I know I'm gonna remember it. Soon as I get the fuck off this shit, that ain't gonna do nothing but make me fucking mad. That ain't gonna do nothing because I'm looking at all the the pictures, but it ain't on there. The name ain't on there that I'm looking for. Let me see if it's on this phone. Tracing fucking board. God damn it, motherfucking tracing board. Yeah, I'm I'm done. I'm not talking. To, I'm not talking to y'all about no mason shit. Y'all gonna y'all gonna get me killed. Mm-hmm. Y'all 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 ain't even into the shit. Mm-hmm. A motherfucking tracing board. That's what the fuck I uh. Yeah. So George Washington had a motherfucking tracing board, right? Now he had a motherfucking light bulb, and, and I'm just I'm just gonna just make this example. And this is about to be my last time talking about motherfucking masons. But like I said, right? He got a uh. He got a. It's a tracing board where on the top. He, he got his face right here, right? And then he got two square encompasses on the side of him, right? So this is supposed to be the masculine and the feminine of his thoughts. He's supposed to be squaring these things. And equal, equal, he equalized it, right? The bottom of the tracing board is supposed to represent the earth or, or where he came from, right? So that would be where the one book at, right? And then the middle portion is supposed to represent the, the purgatory, the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension where the thoughts and feelings at. And then he got a, like a little light up under an all C and I. As if he, the government in the 4th, 5th, and 6th dimension right now. This bitch ass is in hell. Ah! This bitch ass in hell. <laughs> Making fucking pictures like you have, you got some type of government in the after. Get the fuck out of here. Y'all don't even know the concept of the afterworld. That weak ass Masonic after concept life. Y'all weak as fuck. Y'all weak ass magic. But that's about to be my last time talking about that because I know I know I'm but this channel ain't even got nothing to do with that. I don't know, y'all just want to talk about astrology. Y'all just now getting into numerology. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just now getting into uh, you know what I'm saying? I had to realize that over a few days ago. You know what I'm saying? I had to realize like, damn, what the fuck I'm up here talking about shit, getting my motherfucking channel uh striked up and deleted and shit like that. Like for what? <laughs> Motherfuckers I'm talking to don't give a fuck about the fuck I'm talking about. Motherfuckers ain't on no real mission. Motherfuckers somewhere sitting on the couch talking about I can't wait to see what he do. <laughs> Motherfuckers ain't in on nothing. Get the fuck out of here. We ain't talk about that shit no more. We gonna we gonna keep it real straight and legit and just in person. Whoever see me in person we see what we do whatever magic tricks or whatever going on in the actual world, that's how we gonna see it. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. <laughs> Real shit. You know what I'm saying? God damn it. But like I said, right? First lie, right? Second lie. And um, uh, the sun don't go up and down. So I already told y'all, I already told y'all that it's going around, it's revolving and things of that nature. So we're revolving. And that's how we actually see that. And we're going, we're like in a like a wave. So sometimes we're close to something, sometimes we're further away from something. And that's how we're correlating transits. That's how we're correlating of something ahead of us or something in front of us and things of that nature. It's based off pure perspective. So keep that in mind. Otherwise, there would be no such thing as a motherfucking um, as uh, time, uh, time zones. You know what I'm saying? Everybody time zone to be the motherfucking same. 
So keep that in mind. Also in this motherfucker. Yeah, uh, 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 so yeah, we talking about the Bible right now. I get deep. I'm gonna still talk about some um, extracurricular shit though, but it'll probably be on my other channel. You know what I'm saying. But yeah, break it down. Um, so also. That's letting you know that's a motherfucking lie before you start to read the motherfucking Bible and things of that nature. So when you're going into it, you don't be like, oh, something is coming down. That's the wrong concept and things of that nature. So keep that in mind also. And here's the thing, right? Everything in it is based upon virtues and principles. So it's basically light talking. It's anthropomorphizing light. So all of these are light and light becoming more dense and manifesting into these natures, a.k.a. what they stole from natives, what they stole from Indians, right? The concept of natures becoming physical realm of reality. And then they're trying to change the whole concept behind it and and, and then with their rulership and they Abrahamic God and shit like that. So here's going to be the terms. Here's the terms in the Bible and things of that nature that you're going to look out for and just replace this concept in your mind anytime you see these terms so for the most part man y'all always hear me say this masculine thought form boy offspring or descendant of a thought form woman feminine thought form aka receiving ideas daughter offspring or descendant emotions king ruler over principles that was passed down thank you so much for the donation lauren mommy paris he he so that's what that's what a king is. A king is a ruler. So so when y'all hear emperor, that just means a person that's in power. But emperor means a, a power that's being implemented. So this is a, a powerful thought, an egotistical thought, a narcissistic thought, or an attention-seeking thought. That's what it's talking about. All of these are different terms and words for our natures, our virtues. For astrology terms. And in astrology, we still utilize some of these same terms today. Like the Lord going through a house and things of that nature. You see what I'm saying? Now, also, here's the thing. Um, Prince. Prince is not necessarily talking about anthropomorphizing an actual person. It's actually talking about a principle. So whatever name, all these names... It's just telling you what kind of what kind of virtue or principle it is. Like you hear Malachi. That's the so understand this the anthropomorphized story. If you don't understand the numerology and Jumatria and you just get lost into the words, you're just gonna read it as Malachi. But if you understand the Jumatria and the numerology first and the spiritual understanding first, then you will understand that Malachi is just an anthropomorphized story of a virtue or a principle. So that's like saying so. A person who moves like a Malachi, that's like saying somebody moved. Now, I'm just using this as an example. Malachi is an actual representation if you read the story. But the same way calling somebody a bastard is a representation. When you say that's a bastard, what baggage do that word carry? You see what I'm saying? When you call someone a bitch, what baggage do that word carry? When you call someone a teacher, what baggage do that word carry? You see what I'm saying? So this is a virtue. So Malachi will be a virtue. But when you're reading it in a book, you'll be reading it as, as if it's an actual story. You see what I'm saying? But we're going to get into these terminology because y'all get lost into terminology. So the, even when you hear the word, and God spoke, the Lord speak, that's a different way to interpret it. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to get into that. Now, like I said, right? Um, so prince. Prince is another term for principles. And prince was used the same way. Um, if a lot of y'all went to college, I know they made a lot of y'all study Shakespeare and stuff like that. If you knew how to do it the right way, because I ain't need to go to school to none of this shit like that. I didn't even graduate high school. But I I, I know I, I interacted with enough college students and put them on the game for me to realize that I would have had straight A's. I would have had straight A's. For real. Like, it ain't nothing. I would have went straight to the teacher desk. But, right, when you, when you start to understand it, you start to understand that we're creating art. Out of characteristics. We're, we're creating art out of something that's already there. So we're anthropomorphizing clouds. We're, we're anthropomorphizing dinosaurs, animals. You, you want to learn about teeth. You want to learn about bugs. We're anthropomorphizing anything for the sake of our entertainment. And this gives us the ability to understand symbolism and create and creativity in art. You know what I'm saying? How how well you can see the, uh, the creativity um, within art spectrums and things of that nature. So keep that in mind also. You know what I'm saying? And that's another thing because I'm, I'm here to teach a lot of people. So 
even the same thing when it comes to Masons. Even if you got the Mason watching um, my videos right now, you know what I'm saying? Which I don't think it is because y'all can uh, see, y'all can come up with me saying tracing board, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, if you come across this video or whatever like that, I, I don't want y'all to think y'all art or whatever like that is so dominant and prominent because we're in a new time right now. You need to know that y'all art is limited. After a while, once people start to understand what y'all doing, they're going to start to realize that all y'all pictures is the same pictures over and over and over again. And there's no creative freedom in that in any way, shape, or form. So I don't even know what the fuck y'all talking about, uh, uh, whatever kind of weak-ass magic that y'all be utilizing. Like, I'm telling you the world is weak, but I see I can't really put everybody on the game really because i just see what's what's actually going on it's like weak right now so i'm gonna th throw that out the way but at the same time like i said right you want to make sure you're creatively free you know what i'm saying you want to make sure you got your creativity always out and about doing what you necessarily need to do um as far as your own idea your own aspect and make sure you're not governed under anybody to make you think uh less of yourself of how you correlate in your creativity so keep that in mind also but like i said right um when we start to talk about uh discipline right discipline is another terminology for uh or disciples disciple that's another term for discipline so anytime you hear disciples end up like god's disciples or you know what i'm saying christ's disciples or things of that nature it's talking about disciplines so each disciple is a representation of a goddamn discipline so keep that in mind also so uh and and disciplines help with stability so disciplines discipline is your first way of understanding how to manifest or how to cling on to a ritual or a spell and to make this work in some way shape or form so keep that in mind also you got to have discipline without discipline that's that's you're not putting in works whatever that you're putting faith in and faith means belief so without belief you don't have faith so for the most part when you got too many beliefs and things of that nature you got too many faith-based systems in some way shape or form or you got too much magic and for the most part that's becoming demonic and you're going to have to look at someone who don't cling on to that many down emotions and feelings in order to lighten up your life in some way, shape, or form. Even if it's someone who don't even share your same beliefs, you'll look at them as a, a as a sense of refreshing, refreshment. And now that's internal, spiritually, period. I don't care how much you lost into a religion. You just need to understand life. That's, that's why I be saying religious Protestant people and things of that nature. When y'all read these books, y'all don't read it from life. Y'all read it. Y'all read it from the words. So y'all wrapped up in the government based upon Rome calling it Christianity because they, the priests in, in Rome and the rabbis stole from motherfuckers who was doing rituals and, and, and practices back then who ain't know nothing about Christianity. They took that shit and made it a law. Now, now Christianity is part of politics. See what I'm saying? As far as all the other ones, too. It's a rich crowd. But here's the thing. You know, remember, always remember, Jesus wasn't no Christian. I don't, uh, Jesus ain't know nothing about no Christ. All right. Now, look, check this out. Also. <sighs> Otherwise, Protestants would be casting stones at me for the very same thing that they think Jesus shouldn't have been casting stones at. So when they hear me say I'm Archangel Uriel, they say, no, I ain't. Why the fuck you believe in Jesus Christ then? That was the same motherfucking reason he got his he got hung on the cross. What the fuck is you talking about? Wake the fuck up. This is what you're supposed to be doing. Practice what you preach. That's why you don't practice what you preach. That's why you don't manifest. That's why you don't do. That's why you don't do nothing. That's why nothing works for you. That's why your ministry don't flourish. That don't say I ain't told you so. I didn't came in Jacob one motherfucking time. Motherfucker, start wrestling with y'all dumbass thought forms. Now look. Oh, then this, this is the real shit. Now, this is the real esoteric Jesus. That's this the real shit. The shit y'all gonna love. You gonna love yourself. You gonna love the world. You gonna love everybody who who can love themselves too. Cause you got enough love to give at that. This this is the real Jesus Christ energy. Not this weak ass watered down Westernized Rome shit that they call Christianity. That I hate even calling it esoteric Christianity. It's not even called Christianity. This is some shit that you jump into the spirit and you you learn about some powerful shit. That's it. That's all. You see what I'm saying? That kind of shit. Thank you so much for the donation, uh, Dorian, uh, 1221. Uh, uh, you said, C could you explain in the future about the astrological, physiological meaning of, uh, uh, Shaman, Farahaz, Angels, and, and go out of Demons? Or, or will we ba I'm basically, I'm like, I'm that in Living Proof. You listening to that in Living Proof. Like, so instead of you going and, and reading about it, you, I'm live in the flesh that. Whatever you just said, the, the Goetia, Goetia, Angel, they, all that, they summit, you hearing it from me now. So now, you hearing somebody give you the interpretation of the Bible. So this is it. You see what I'm saying? But I know what you're trying to say. 
we go deeper into like the history of it though. We go we go into the history. But look, check this out. Like, right? Uh, cause that's getting into like a little bit of my tribe too. Also, back thinking about everything developing with nature's. But we're we gonna get it, we're gonna get into that though. Like I said though, right? Uh priests, right? Now, before we got physical priests, like I said, all of them are trying to live like inverted stars. So they're trying to do it backwards. They're not doing it the right way. So they're doing it for rulership. Government, as soon as you try to use your power for something, no, they use your power for you and say, no, you got to use your power for this. Built this pillar, built this column, built this building. Learn this, learn this, built our world. No, 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 no. You know what I'm We can't do that shit no more. But like I said, right, priests technically is ye. Ye is anything below the horizon. There's no such thing as below the horizon. So something that's more far out, something that's more far out. That's dealing with more separation. So that's more wise. But also for something to be born and for something to go further out, more out than something that's born after it. That's also represent elder or something that's older, an older planet or older light. So something that was already at an a.m. and went to a p.m. So it can teach things that just now at an a.m. where it's actually going. So this is a this is stars. This is like Saturn teaching the sun. What's going to happen to you when you get into the seventh house? Because I'm, I'm exalted in the seventh house. I'm the Aussie and I. I'm the equilibrium in this motherfucker. I'm the temple that's Solomon, the sun and the moon is floating in. in. You, you and the moon is floating in, reflecting off each other. So for the most part, as far as Malakuth. So for the most part, it's like it's like that kind of concept where uh, <coughs> it's trying to tell us uh, priests is, is basically the is a planet. That's in the area where things like the sun that we can see that's close to us is getting ready to go. So to know where we go, we have to know where we come from. So Saturn is like where we come from. So looking at the sun, we can know where we're going. We're going into darkness because Saturn is already there. Like You see what I'm saying? It's like that kind of shit. So priests in general just represents um, the stars below the horizon or the elder lights. And and or or the, the stars below the, uh, the the stars below or the nighttime versions of the stars. So the, the the priest aspect of Venus will be will be Taurus. The uh the priest aspect of motherfucking um the priest aspect of goddamn Mercury will be Virgo. The priest aspect of goddamn Mars will be Scorpio. The priest, you see what I'm saying? And then you got planets when we start to talk about fixed stars that's actually out there. So they was already in the space before, and now they further out. So now they're the, they're, they're the outer, not the upper. We get lost into this upper shit down here and try, and try to build up, and that's what the Tower of Babylon represent and shit like that. But it gets a little deeper based upon the symbolism with the Tower. Now, see, I don't, I don't want to talk about that. Let's, let's get back into bases and shit like that. Because goddamn, they, they, they made this book. They made that goddamn Bible. Y'all, King James shit. King James was a Mason. Uh, John Calvin was a Mason. Christianity is just another word for Masonry. Th that's what you need to know. Christianity, Christ, light, the son of the light, son of light against the darkness, the ability to fight our own lights. That th This whole concept of ritual and spell, stealing from natives and shit like that, that's, that's, what, Christi that's what Rome is. That's Masonry, all that shit. Not not just seventeen seventeen. You got to think about it, right? They trying to have y'all ran up under one government, but for real, like to the point they mix civilizations together. Like, for an example, they they have it to some point like everything y'all see is is iconic. Like 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 the pillars that they used to make. Then, then everything y'all hear will be Corinthian. Then all, everything y'all eat, all y'all taste buds will be like that. They, like they'd take, they'd take a generalized concept and make the whole world under it, whether y'all think about it or not. And it, it under all languages, it don't matter. It don't matter what language you speak. You, you still up under their theology. So you could be in China all the way to America, to Puerto Rico. All the way to motherfucking Africa, right? All y'all speak different and be arguing with each other why the Masons control what y'all arguing about. And also taught y'all the, the build how to build it. So y'all just think y'all happy building, but they done made y'all build something in a certain way. 
So the this the structure is how they communicate. So it could be a Mason in Africa and a and, and a Mason in motherfucking Germany and they don't have to they don't even speak the same language, but they still know how to communicate with each other based upon them being a shadow government controlling the world because the same pillar in Africa be the same pillar in Germany. You get it? Like they they speak in symbolism. They don't speak in language. They made y'all language to speak. They made y'all money to speak. When you when you look on your money, y'all y'all be y'all be lost in shit like that. When y'all y'all be like, look, this is Illuminati. Look, it got the pyramid back there. It's Illuminati. Look, this is. Do you know every single thing on this is fucking masonry? Do, do you know that? Like that that's how you know the world lost. Cause you'll you'll get on a Protestant or something like that, right? And then they come talking like they know something, and they'd be like, look, look at the back of the dollar bill, look at the money, oh this is evil, oh that's dollars masonry, oh George Washington was the first Mason, oh it was all the Mason. And and then they stop there. Don't you know every little thing is masonry? These, these little webs and shit like that, that's mas this is masonry. This, you see these little figs and shit like that? This, this whole little representation, I could break down this whole little symbolism right here, right? He's the equilibrium right here, right? Now you got the, you got the pillars, you got the pillars, so you're always going to have a dark pillar and a light pillar. The light pillar represents the, the daytime, this represents the nighttime. You're always going to have four sides of the dollar bill. That represents the four corners or the archangels or, you know what I'm saying, or the perspectives and things of that nature, right? You ran by the Federal Reserve, so that lets you know this legislation, it, go, it goes beyond whatever structure you think you under. So the pyramid just represents you're under that You're under that pyramid. You're under that. So when you're looking at this, y'all thinking it's Illuminati. No, that's masonry. What you're seeing is the square and the goddamn compass. Hold on. Hold up. Hold that fuck up. Hold the fuck up. Y'all don't y'all don't be knowing. Y'all don't be knowing shit. Now, this is what you see. Hold on, hold on. Let me get this right real quick. I can't, hold on. Alright, whatever. This 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 what you see. Right? That's what you see. You're seeing six pointed you're seeing six pointed stars. And the letters make out Mason. <laughs> the letters make out Masons when you point the six point star out. So you will see you will see M A S O N in motherfucking order. If you if you if you was to make if you was to if you was to make it in there, the bottom square, and then that top square, tell me what letters what letters it land on. M A S O. Yeah! This shit real shit. Get your dollar bill out, bitch. Y'all be getting lost. This ain't got shit to do with Illuminati. This is Mason shit. Motherfuckers run the world. Y'all 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 think a new world order is coming. Motherfucker, this was the, the New World Order been happy a few hundred years ago. Ah! Ah! We was in a new world since we started this shit. That was the new world. You living in it. Motherfucker, what you mean it's coming? It came. Ah! Lord have mercy. It don't make no fucking sense down here. People don't know shit down here. Thank you so much for the donation spiritual awakening. It don't make no fucking sense. No, it don't. It don't. But like I said, we're gonna get back into interpreting this goddamn Bible. Uh, priests. So like I said, so when you hear about the priesthood, priesthood is just people down here might be elders, but they're trying to play out stars that went below the horizon or after the PM. So that'd be shit like Saturn. Jupiter, you know what I'm saying? Shit, shit, planets that's at home of the planets that's be, uh that's uh below the horizon or just the nighttime side of the planets. 
or the fixed stars that's on that side of town, a.k.a. going to the Western Hemisphere and going below and things of that nature. And I hate to use below and shit like that, but it's no we're utilizing this bastardized ass language. So it's hard to even con convey anything properly. Which, we're going to be doing that in person, too. We're changing up all this motherfucker shit. And we about to be whole... It's going to be a whole new thing on the internet. For real. But we got to build it in that way first. I can't do that from the internet and that trickle down physically first. That It don't work that way. That's not how shit work. You get from the ground and then you expand first. You know what I'm, I mean? Then you expand second. You know what I'm saying? Everybody trying to do things... Everybody trying to do things backwards nowadays. That's why they don't get too far. You know what I'm saying? That's why motherfuckers don't remember Master P going around town to town selling motherfucking CDs out his fucking trunk. And everybody think they fucking hustlers by spamming famous motherfuckers all day. That ain't fucking hustling. You ain't gonna get nowhere. Motherfucker. Mother, you better understand fucking life. It start from the basement. It don't start from the ceiling first. Then we, when you don't see the steps at the ceiling being able to get there, you, you don't even want to put no more work in it anymore. You're like, oh, well, fuck it. That ain't my, I ain't supposed to do that then. Get the, get the fuck out the hell, whole house, motherfucker, in the esoteric ram. But like I said, tribe, tribe in the Bible. Anytime you hear the terms tribe, this represents a group of lights or stars or similar thought forms. So thought forms that move in a pack together. You might think, now that we're not talking about people, but I'm trying to anthropomorphize it for you to understand it. La, because this is what the Bible do. Say you got a thought, this person got a thought, this person got a thought, but we, we all got agreeable thoughts. We still got our own individual thought, we, but we agree from our own perspective. So we all move as a pack. We all move as a tribe. Now, that's how the Bible explained it. Before you get lost into history and be like, oh, yeah, what tribe was that? Tribe of Gab, tribe of this, that. Your motherfucker lost. You missed the point. The whole point is, it's telling you this is what we do as spirits. Sometimes we group up. Sometimes we make packs. And slowly but shortly, when we all teamwork makes the dream work, we end up creating a constellation. A.K.A. when we all come together, that creates a, a body of water. And now we got a chakra that we can all swim in as spirits and create organs and create bodies and shit that we can come up out of. You see what I'm saying? That's what it's explaining. But you might be a Protestant and be like, oh, no, no, we need to know that. Now that tribe, we need to know history. Oh, yeah. 1370 AD, this, that, and third. Oh, yeah. Noah's Ark was really there. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, you lost. You lost. You ain't going to never find it. Ah! You ain't going to never find it. You ain't gonna never find Noah's Ark until you find it inside of you. Universe inside of you. Ah! 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 Don't make no sense. No, don't make no sense. I've seen the light. Things are left. Uh, things are left. Don't they saturated in love? Tarot card. Oh shit. I love my tarot card readers out there. Ee hee. Said, so woke up master in life. Uh, let let so try to lead to this motherfucker. You better believe it. That's real shit, though. No. Real shit, this motherfucker. But look, right? That's that's a that's a trap. You know what I'm saying? These Protestants and stuff like that, they get motherfucker lost. They start thinking it's actual people and all that. No, you missed the point. You missed the point. The point is, as spirits, we got this ability. So what you gonna do? What you gonna do? <laughs> what you gonna do? <laughs> he shot to the baby. But what you gonna do when you when you involved in these situations? Is you gonna be part of a tribe? That, that go downhill and be catastrophic like the tribe of Judah and be backstabbers? Or is you going to go with a tribe, a.k.a. a group of thoughts? You could jump into a field of thoughts that have you come up with a whole bunch of ideas on how to do one specific thing. Is you going to be spiritually, a stronger, spiritually strong enough to not go with those virtues and do something else? Or is you going to get washed up under the current and, be, and, and go along with a tribe, follow the pack? You see what I'm saying? Now... Once you want, that's the spiritual energy out of it. The numerology, the gematria. Now we get to the word. Now we get to the history. The first tribe, tribe of Gad, right? That'd be the first, that'd be the Indians, the native spirit, right? And for the most part, them as spirits, 
was here first. So a lot of them got O negative blood, right? And things of that nature. So them flying around as spirits, they was creating Adams and Eves, right? And those those Adams and Eves became a constellation. And that constel that those constellations that those spirits was flying in, to this day, we call it Aries. We call it the Aries constellation. So that that'll be the tribe of Gab. And then for the most part, we go down the line. To, it's, a, it's a tribe. The tribe of Taurus got a specific name. That all the way down, all the way down, all the way down till we get to the uh to motherfucker the last tribe. And it, it's it's telling you that's when it become dense. But it's telling you ahead of time this how we did it. You see what I'm saying? So before we get lost into the anatomy of the Bible, the neurology of the Bible, the biology of the Bible, right? The history of the Bible, the words, the language, the literature of it. Understand the spirituality first. Draw the numerology. Draw the Jemaat. Now, me breaking down these terms is just me already doing the numerology of Jematria for y'all. If you if, if you was to sit back and do the numerology, the numerology of Jematria for yourself, it it is break down the star number. And the star number will be what planet is talking about, what energy, what what day, what day is being manifested. So it's anthropomorphizing light, right? So if, if you do the gematria and numerology of it, you're understanding what planet is bringing a virtue, what magic square you could put it in. So it's giving you the concept that the, the first the first seven days, each of those days have been going through the whole Bible. See what I'm saying? Like, like day two might be in the book of kingdoms. You know what I'm saying? Or might be in a, you know what I'm saying? Might be in a book of uh, Malachi or some shit like that. Or it might, or a piece of it might be in Leviticus. You know what I'm saying? Day, day four, that day, that star, that virtue might float around in another text of the book. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like that. It's trying to tell you those first, those first seven days is manifesting in a whole bunch of different ways. So those, it's basically the seven planets brings it, bring, bring it seasons and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? So that's when you, I, so me breaking down these terms, it's just me. I already did the numerology and gematria for y'all. Like I already squared the Bible out and all that shit. But, but for, for y'all don't have to do it. But if you was to do it, I'm, I'm telling you how to come to my conclusion. Because it's one thing to explain something. But that's like telling y'all how to come to the ocean. But without telling you how to make your own cup. So you'll always need me to drink. I mean, you, go, you can go find this shit out for your goddamn self. You know what I'm saying? But So that's basically what I did. Just got the numerology and dramatia up out of it, and then you get the you get the spirit you get the spirituality drank out of it like some wine. You you drain the wine. You do the wine ritual. And let me take a sip. Let me take a shot right now. <laughs> you do the wine ritual, but in the Bible, you make wine inside of you. You turn water into wine. So water represents your emotions, your feelings. So anytime you hear water in the Bible, it represents your feelings, your your uh your feminine. Uh, natures, right? So when Jesus turned water into wine, Jesus is your solar plexus, your sun sign. So as an individual, you could turn your emotions as a flame, as a spirit, as a solar plexus, as a Jesus, you could turn your water, see what I'm saying, into wine. AKA, you can make it, you can make your feelings make you excited. You can make yourself happy. You can make yourself have visions. You don't need the external world to satisfy you. You don't need the external world to justify you. You don't need the external world to give you justification. Shout to Lady Go Hard. Hee -hee. That's what it means by turning water to wine. You get what I'm saying? You can get drunk off yourself. You don't need to get hyped up from someone gassing you up. You can gas yourself up. That's So, once again, the Bible is interpreting that that's the spiritual energy of it. As spirits, we all got that ability. To turn water into wine, aka to excite ourselves, to appreciate ourselves. And when you when you a person who need external references for justification all the time, you don't know how to turn water into wine. Because you don't know what the book is talking about. You don't practice what you preach. No pun intended. No pun intended. No, no pun intended. Ah! Ah! Ah, make no sense. No, it don't make no sense. But yeah, you see what I'm saying. So once once you got that perspective, you start to look at it like, damn, it ain't no other way to look at the because that is it. Because people will look at it like, especially Protestants, they'd be like, oh, why we gotta listen to you? Because you call yourself Uriel. So no, no, you ain't gotta listen to me. Go try this for yourself. <laughs> The whole thing will open up. You'll start to, to start scratching your head and shit. Start clashing and shit. 
<laughs> start questioning your religion. Look, and I ain't tell you to question your religion. All the only thing you gonna realize is, yeah, you was lost in a religion. The book ain't got nothing to do with what you was lost in. That's the only thing you gonna, that's the only conclusion you gonna come to. The book ain't got shit to do with what you was thinking about. That's the only conclusion you gonna come to. You know what I'm saying? So keep that in motherfucking mind. Now, also, scripture. Anytime you see scripture or whatever like that, or scribe, and <coughs> scriptura, bullshit and things of that nature. This is a, a script or a role to play, or a character, or an actor. So what do characters play? What do stars play? When you watch a movie, what you, wa what you actually watching? What do stars play? I know a lot of y'all might be like, oh, they're playing a character. They're acting out something. But what is they're acting out? They're acting out a, a principle, a virtue. A movie is always about something. So it's always going to have substance. It's always going to have a theme. And that theme is going to be what the movie is about. So these characters is going to correlate based upon those themes. You see what I'm saying? So for the most part, once you start to talk about a script, you could be around a motherfucker who always running a goddamn script. A lot of y'all females, y'all uh, y'all in relationship with a motherfucker like that right now. They running scripts like a, and a lot of y'all dudes too. Y'all the female, but it's, it's kind of different because, you know what I'm saying, uh, a guy got to run a script. You know what I'm saying? A guy don't wake up every day with a thousand inboxes Fee it, it could be the, the most rejected female in the world she got she got more hollers than than the most whatever y'all think is a uh a god that everybody else be looked at be looking at as far as females be looking at and shit like that the, the worst looking female get more hollers than him you need to understand that thank you so much for the donation ryan to, to cats <laughs> now she she might be upset at her she might be upset at the, the looks of her pursuers, but that don't mean she ain't gonna have no pursuers. You see what I'm saying? So it's a it's a different vibe when you start to talk about females, goddammit. It's like you gotta understand that being a male. You you don't you don't gotta think the same things that they think about. Your ass don't gotta wake up and, and come up with things in your mind on how to how to reject somebody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And and that become normal in your life. As a man your ass running around, not a man, a male. <laughs> your ass running around here trying, trying to be accepted. Thinking of, thinking of ways in your motherfucking head. <laughs> or how can I not get rejected in some motherfucking way? So you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a different vibe. You got to understand thought forms take you through certain areas. So when you start running, running around your emotions and feelings around a female, hell yeah, she's not going to understand it. It's not her life. <laughs> it, 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 she don't even spend no time in that thought process any part of her life growing up. You know what I'm saying? So you being a man throwing all these responsibilities on her like she's supposed to think a certain way about you and not look around or or be promiscuous, whatever the fuck that word y'all call it and shit like that. And you supposed to be a motherfucker with enough nuts to not be insecure about that kind of shit. That's what females supposed to do. You can't, you can't be no goddamn female in no goddamn relationship with a dude and then he restrict he restrict your ability of how you got his ass. <laughs> that don't even make no motherfucking sense. You better run. That ain't because you you about to step in the hell. <gasps> ah! You about to step in the hell. <laughs> Listen, can, can, look, I am a dude. So, but by me being spiritual, I understand certain things too. So I understand how the difference between the thought patterns. And I understand where sometimes dudes don't understand. So like, y'all got to understand that too as a female. Be careful with jumping into a relationship with someone who stopped you from doing how the fuck you got his ass. <laughs> you was wearing that bra that way would attract his ass to you. So you mean that now that y'all together, you can't wear that bra no more? You can't wear that thong no more when y'all hop? Listen, something wrong. He ain't got no nuts or something. <laughs> Ah! Ah! <laughs> you gotta understand natures. Like some, some shit is just, it is what it is. So that's what a relationship is. AKA, both of y'all know what it is. So when y'all do go back to the crib, like y'all y'all know what it is. Like it, it's supposed to be y'all know what it is. I don't even know no other way to explain it. Everybody correlate their own relationships in their own way. As long as both of y'all know what it is. Y'all got the best relationship ever, regardless of anybody else look at it as silly. You see what I'm saying? But anything else, it's just going to lead it to controlling energy. I don't care how y'all look at it. Y'all still in 
somebody else's worldviews and shit like that. Nah, but but people are supposed to look like this and and nah, uh, uh, we're supposed to look like this and shit like that. Nah, 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 nah. Listen, when when I met your ass, your hair, yeah, you, you had your baby hairs and all that shit out. Your lipstick was pop popping and shit like that and things of that nature. Ain't no way after I meet your ass. Now you gotta look like a nun. No, 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 no. The sun ain't right now. I want other, I want other guys to look at what I was looking at and shit like that. That's, that's like all right, you know, you got that right. You can look, K touch, look, K touch. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Ah! 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 Motherfucker! Ah! Real shit. And that'll be one hell of a bond right there. I will tell you that right now. That'll be one hell of a bond right there. I tell you. Bro, shit. Well, that. Yeah. Because if that's the case, shit slowly but surely going to become controlling. And then all you're going to do is you're going to be a female, but you're going to start feeling like Steph Curry's wife. <laughs> you're going to start feeling like I'm not getting no attention. And then everybody going to look at you stupid because they're going to be like, what the fuck you talking about? You already you already trapped it, nigga. You already trapped old boy and shit like this. So what you talking about? Look, why are you out here needing more attention and shit like that? But see, she's in a fucked up situation because her woman nature knows she's supposed to be getting attention. But the situation she in, she's confined into too many virtues. So the virtue she's confined in, a religious one, this one, Steph Curry one, Steph Curry rich, um, um, it's good to be married that way, uh, female, some not so, you know what I'm saying? It's like it's so many other virtues they caught in that, hell yeah, she don't sound like she she makes sense. But if it was both both of y'all know what it is, then Steph Curry would have never blocked that in the first place. You see what I'm saying? Even though he, he probably don't block that. It's probably a situation that... He face, see, they probably different. It's probably a situation that he famous, so she can only do so much. But that was just her little frustration <laughs> that she could that she could spill out a little bit in some way, shape, or form. She probably be having her way with Steph Curry. Ah, and he a Pisces. Ain't no way he in control. Ah! I'm talking about Pisces men. It's different. It's different than vice versa. A Pisces woman. Can control shit. A Pisces man, uh, all shit might fall short. <laughs> Everything might fall short. I'm gonna tell you that right now. <laughs> Same way with Scorpios. God damn it, a Scorpio woman can run some shit. Scorpio man, oh shit. He need others. <laughs> if he by himself, oh shit. Ah. <laughs> you better believe it, that motherfucker gonna use somebody eventually. Let me get back into this goddamn shit, though. We done went off into some whole other goddamn shit. But look, check this out, right? Now, the covenant. Anytime you think uh, hear about the covenant or something like that, this represents government or law at that time. Not God law or something like that, because that ain't going to do nothing but make you re remix your own brain. And then you're going to think God told you to respect people who win power. In some way, shape, or form. Some dumb, sh some dumb shit that you got to make up in your own mind. Your own mind. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, you need to know covenant is just government. So we've been changing covenants every time we have a new shift. Every time we go through a new a, a new a new Saturn um, transition and things of that nature. We always have a new conscious shift. You know what I'm saying? Saturn control our shifts, our conscious shifts. Pluto represents the age we in. So keep that in mind also. So, and I've been had videos on this shit. That's why I said a lot of these Masons and these mother, they be stealing from me and shit like that. Like, I've been had videos on, we are in the age of Centaur. We're not in no age of no Aquarius. We already, we already made the shins. We trying to lead it. We trying to lead the animalistic natures right now. That's why we so spiritual and shit like that. All the stars we close to, the bodies of water we close to, is Alpha Centaur and Centaur Proximius to us and Delta Centaurs. All the sizes of the, of the Centaur stars. Right? So this this is the stars that made itself a part of us. These these are the actual stars that make up the constellation of Ophiuchus. See you know what I'm saying? This is and what originated in that space is things like Chiron, you know what I'm saying? Jupiter, you know what I'm saying? The ninth and the twelfth house. It's a it's like a it's like a big esoteric story of how we got here. That that's that's in between the twelfth and the ninth house, and like I said, when you make a monad, it's visions. So 
You know, the whole world is really just lost in other people's visions. That's what I'm trying to get everybody out of right now. You don't got to get lost into Peter and Paul's visions. And based upon somebody's ruler and authority that you think that their visions is more important than yours. Get the, and then you will start believing in their visions childlike. Because once you start to have too many beliefs, that's your magic. So uh, 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 it, come, it become real. Somebody else's visions become real in your head. And therefore now, now you see what Peter and Paul seen. Or you at least you think you do. Because you lost with that witchcraft, spells, and words. The word, the word taught you how to get lost and possess with other people's visions. And once you get lost into Peter and Paul's visions, you go into hell. Because that's what they seen. All they all they talked about is demons and witches and and, and don't do this and gotta restrict this and be where this is all rituals and shit. They got nothing to do with the with motherfuckers that made religions off of based upon Martin Luther. <laughs> not Martin Luther King Jr. Ah, not, not that Martin Luther. <laughs> and and the Masons and everybody used they used him as a cross. So he was basically like the 20th century or the 19th century, whatever the fuck, uh, version of Martin Luther. That's why he was so religious. And then they used Malcolm X. They all they use Harriet Tubman. Look, they use everybody. Everybody, look, that's why, that's how you know that African shit is fake. See, when I say African, y'all might be like, oh, this guy hating on black people or whatever like that. No, I'm telling you that you not even that. You don't even know what you is. Stop. I'm telling you that. If you really care about yourself, come up with a whole nother name because they making up these shits and but they're making it up based upon what they think it mean. So if they control the world, do everything get cr created by our vibrations. If they're more in power, right, then the way that they think is going to manifest. So since they think black is negative, since they think. These type of terms, Africa, is, they, they think that's where the slave and the pyramids and the rulership that ended at. So they taught y'all that. So you're coming up with your own concept. Like, oh, I'm from there. I'm supposed to do this, that, and the third. But what they're teaching you is this. That vibration. That was a vibration that failed. That was a vibration that became slave. You see what I'm saying? So this is how they feel about it. So when you, when you in school... And you get taught about history, Harriet Tubman, Malcolm X, or, or, or George Washington, or the Pilgrims, right? You, you're learning about what they did. You, you, you learning about what they want you to know. You, you're not learning about something that somebody came along and said, hey, here, you need to learn your history. No, you learning some shit that motherfuckers just sat back and said, we think this portion of, or group of people need to think this way. Because when people think this way, we can control them in that aspect so we don't have to come knock at every door one by one. Then we can have this is where you get classism. See what I'm saying? It, it don't be how y'all looking at it, don't be how y'all looking at these things. It, it really don't be. Same way with version. Version just means um for a new space. A new space or a house without a star in it yet. You see what I'm saying? So that's like reaching into a new space. So that's just like females. If you had a boyfriend or whatever like that, and then you get done with him, and then the next the next guy come along, kind of go a little further, technically you was a virgin. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of y'all females, a lot of y'all females out there, y'all y'all want to claim y'all virgins and shit like that, right? <laughs> but y'all still be using that little dino and all that. Ah! That kind of don't count. It don't count. It don't. It really don't count. You want to say you ain't a virgin, but you ain't really did nothing. But you was playing with the. That don't count. That don't count. In, in all realms of realities, anytime you reach a new space or a new area or a new territory, you reach the virgin. You reach the virgin place, and then you was that blood spectrum in that spot. You was that light spectrum. You start giving off atoms and eaves. Thought forms and feelings and emotions in that new uncomfortable situation that you new experience. So you became the blood and you turned that Mary to Bloody Mary. Mary is just another name for a virgin. You see what I'm saying? Real shit. You know that? So, you know, a lot of y'all females been fucking for 10 years and still virgins. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. 
don't make no sense. No, wait, no, no, I don't make no sense. No, I don't. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Even though, you know, that first guy or whatever like that, he, he might might have helped br break something or whatever like that. But God damn it, that, that ain't that ain't really necessarily what breaking virginity necessarily mean. Because if that if that's all what breaking virginity mean, then a lot of y'all virginity's been broke by y'all fingers long time ago. Ah! 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 Make no sense, no. At the age of eleven, And that was the case. Ah, motherfucker. Oh shit. I know how y'all females do. Ah, ah. Don't make no sense. No, don't at all. But look. Also, but look, get, get off the virgin spirit. The motherfucking spirit itself. Now, instead of y'all trying to say high case G or lower case G, getting lost in somebody else's language, who said G represent any fucking thing? But at the same time, right? Or lower case or higher case. Who made language? Whoever made the language of higher case or lower case, that must be these Protestant gods. Once they start to say, once they start to really believe in whatever they talking about when they start saying dumb shit like, uh, motherfucker, shot the star, la, la, la. <laughs> Here's the 18 and up channel. <laughs> but once they start saying, the, start saying dumb shit like, oh yeah, no, that's not, a, that's not a, uh, that's a lowercase g. The Bible teaches that's not a big God, that's a little God. So, yeah, that's not a little, well, how the fuck you lost in somebody's language, period? None of that matters. If you really think about it, that shit sounds stupid as hell. Whole terminology is stupid to the point that you can't see the world itself without, without some Latin man in your mind floating around. Who thought, who thought he understood Hebrew? Now, so, they've been calling the spirit, so, instead of saying, many god no there's many i mean instead of saying little god no there's many gods many spirits all of us me and you so for the most part here's where they start to get y'all lost in the bible the spirit is referring to the fire element that's why the fire element be absent but you always hear about water earth or air aka heavens that's what air is thinking spirit is fire so spirit is always going to be the light of something let the spirit of God lighten you up. It brings the light or something. It's the light. It's a star. So spirit represents a chakra, an idea, or an actual star. Whatever star that they was pointing to at that time. You know what I'm saying? So the, the spirit element, the, uh, the, sp the spirit in the book, in the Bible, every time they you hear the word spirit, replace that with fire element or the light or the image or something. So keep that in mind. But that's them lostness. Your spirit ain't nothing, no thing, no shape and form. And I don't like to use the word God. That's why I say spirit. See what I'm saying? Because I understand as a spirit, as a God, is that, that don't even mean anything. It's all possibilities. So you want to make sure you all, everything is substances. So you want to make sure you always in that substance of all possibilities. The moment you anthropomorphize the concept of all possibilities and deify it and give it a name, you limit all possibilities in your life, mentally, emotionally, and physically. And then it makes it even worse when you went to a religion and have to find something to to debate that Platonism, that triune, that triune Platonism, dumbass shit you lost in. So I'm saying, deep spiritual shit. You don't need no book, no spirituality. You need spirituality first, then get in that book. Then you will know something. Then you'll be able to use that book like a bitch and shit like that. And do some rituals and spells, do the rituals and spells the way you're supposed to do it. Which they ain't doing nothing but copying, copying natives. Nobody told, y'all supposed to build y'all buildings straight. Stop building y'all buildings like teepees and curves and shit and temples and shit. Stop, do, stop copying. Stop. Thank you so much for the donation, Danielle. Hee hee, we wasn't talking about no phallus. What about ether? Ether is the accumulation of water, fire, earth, and, and um and air all together. And then it makes you can make a lot of different things out of it. It becomes an ether net where all of these things are interconnected, like a net. And you can create a whole bunch of imageries out of these things. So everything you see, which y'all call Earth, what NASA made y'all believe Earth, 
It's everything from the periodic table. It's the accumulation of fire, water, earth, and air all mixed together as those desires being manifested. Earth, practicality, fire, passion, water, consolement, concealing, and um, air, thinking and traveling. And then for the most part, when you bring these things together, we could uh, it, it becomes uh, a one thing you could create, a chakra, a light you could create. And it have different spectrums to it, right? So one one spectrum might have more fire and water than the other. One spectrum might have more air and water than the other. You know what I'm saying? And then for the most part, that lets you know the different portions of experiences you be j jumping into when you motherfucker uh, be correlating your chakras. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what the ethers is. So scientists is trying to find out that space is actually not just a void. It ain't a vacuum. There's actually things in space. And this is where they come to the conclusion of giving y'all terminologies like ether or the Higgs boson or, you know, dark matter or some shit like that. Right. A.K.A. They're just trying to find something that's light in density, but really it's just they can't piece it out because it's an accumulation of a whole bunch of things. You know what I'm saying? So until they're until they piece it out, that's when you uh, figure out another hypothetical theory or a model or some shit like that. Someone getting a Nobel Prize and then all the dumb, deaf, blind, sheep and weak atheists or people who have debates or ph philosophers uh, think that they got some new knowledge or something like, or they smart or something like that because they because they go on, on someone else's philosophical point of view who just went to school to get three to, to get these credentials. So since they respected by a wide range of people and that agree with this automatically, this is supposed to be something that we look at as a form of fact. We got to get out of that whole shit. All these motherfuckers stole. They don't know what the fuck they talking about. They need they need the native spirit to know anything about what the fuck they talking about. Otherwise, they'd be lost on the land. They not from here. Thank you so much for the donation and uh, he, he. So they have, they have changed South Sudan money. They, they changing all kind of shit around. It don't even make no motherfucking sense. <sighs> Baptism, baptism in the Bible, right? Clearing, clearing the emotional state or past trauma. That's what baptism means. So you can either sunbathe or you could or you could jump or you could jump in uh, or you could get in a, a bathtub in some way, shape or form. And then for the most part, when you get out of that shower or bathtub, do not carry any emotional feeling or thought that you had from the previous time that before you was in it. You know what I'm saying? And then for the most part, that puts you into a situation. Um. Where you actually did baptism. Uh, th thank you so much for the donation. Um, uh, Mayward Chavez. You said. Um, um, God generator operator uh, destroyer. The God ain't that either though. You know what I'm saying. God ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying. That ain't nothing. No thing. So you a God. You ain't no thing. No shape and form. And you can fulfill things in that. You can fulfill all possibilities. In that. Now that's a capability you can do. You can gen You can generate. And you can operate and you can destroy. Yeah, you can do that. You can do that. It's a lot of, a lot of different. It's a lot of different things we can do too. You know what I'm saying? Uh thank you so much for the donation. 87 Sparker. E he. Like the spirit realm, the spirit realm get deep in this motherfucker once we start to talk about um all kinds of shit and extract it from the Bible the way we're supposed to. Even uh God, that that's right, took me right. Look. What what we was just on? Baptism. What's the next one? God. God, ain't the, look, synchronicity, synchronicity. God damn, synchronicities like a motherfucker. Shout you out. Once again, who uh who brought up God? Shout you out. I forgot your name. Before 87 Sparker. But uh God. God represents uh it, anytime you hear God in the Bible, um, uh, this is thee or thy or you or someone who did what you did in their own way. That's the only thing it represent. So you might got your own kind of characteristics. This book could be an example on, on what to do or what not to do when you have similar experiences. You see what I'm saying? It could be like that. Or you could look at it as, let me find my footprints in the sand. Oh, this is what I did. And then you can start to learn your life from that perspective. The moment you externalize it, anthropomorphize it, the moment you get lost. Into that, uh, into Mason shit. All right, cherub, 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 your outer animalistic natures or the four. So I'm basically one of the cherubs. You see what I'm saying? 
Now, y'all utilize the monad to get there. So y'all you y'all use the second, fifth, eighth, and eleventh house as a filtering system to filter the constellations that came out of those houses: Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. And then through those backdrops, you guys are trying to understand why are there move why are those constellations moving the way that they're moving. Or why do we feel the way we feel when we're going through those transitions? So this be this became the worship of the fixed element. I mean, I mean the fixed modality, the fixed position, the 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 fixed points of the monad or the twelve wheel or whatever like that. AKA is just centering each season. You got the this when we when we dead in the middle of spring, that's Taurus second house. When we dead in when we dead in the middle of summer, that's Leo fifth house. When we dead in the middle of uh, fall, that's Scorpio, uh, eighth house. When we dead in the middle uh, um, of winter, that's 11th house. That's Aquarius. Now, here's the thing. Religious people will get into the, we're getting to this Bible and go 60 years to college to try to figure what I'm talking about right now and still don't believe what I'm saying is true yet. There's no other way to look at it in your Bible. What other ways you, what other conclusion you get ready to come to? Your Bible is an astrology book, but not the Zeitgeist version. The, the way how we created these constellations before they was constellations that way, not your anthropomorphized concept. Thank you so much for the donation via the Empress. E -he. All of that is in the Bible too. Um, so, so, uh, so that's the cherubim, right? The Royal fixed stars, right? So, <clears throat> This this would be like a lot of teachings um, if you went to masonry and the royal archmasons and things of that nature. And then all the little degrees and the things that's behind that and under that and things of that nature. All the way going into the ink, the uh, the, uh, the French Lodge and things of that nature where they, where they allow transvestites and, and, and motherfucking and gays and, and, and women to practice masonry and things of that nature. So it goes a little beyond... Um, it goes a little beyond um, the dogmatic energies of the England Lodge and, and the motherfucker, uh, all the phallic, phallic worship and, and, and shit like that and things of that nature. So that's getting into all, all, all those all those kind of energies and shit like that. The pillars of the world and and them trying to fulfill that and built that in in some way, shape or form. So this, I'm, but like I said, I'm going to be done talking about them, but they run y'all. I need to know y'all need to know they be running y'all shit. Y'all be paying attention to other shit that y'all need to be paying attention to. For real, y'all y'all be paying attention to race race wars and protesting and voting and shit like that. Y'all don't even know what y'all be looking at that that put y'all into a space to feel like that in the first place. That's why I posted that picture earlier. That's why I posted that picture earlier about uh they was practicing a ritual and everybody on the right was wearing black masks, aka represent the nighttime, and everybody on the uh, left side. Was uh, wearing the white mask represents the daytime. If you if you extra chemic out or or some way right now, you'll be like, oh yeah, black mask, the the dark the dark side. Yeah, that's they talk about Africans. Yeah, they talk about the true black people. They ain't even talk about race. They talk about the fucking cosmos. And you probably about to take it a step further. Oh yeah, cause the cosmos is dark. So all dark people came from man. They ain't got nothing to do with none of that. To so believe me, I'm telling you, get out of that mind frame right now, right now. Ain't got shit to do with none of that shit. You lost it's a new religion. And you, you get ready to get crucified also. Thank you so much for the donation. Uh my, my lag grow. The greatest period. E -he. We are all mixtures. You need to know that. We're all mixtures. None of y'all are e even their starting point. When they when they want to say Mononoid, Magadoid, or whatever like that, or Africa, or whatever. This is what you need to understand. They're trying to figure it out. They're mixed. Berbers, all these, none of these motherfuckers is pure. <laughs> Nobody pure. Every, so when you got motherfuckers in power, of course they're going to create concepts of who, uh, who, where the majority was at. But they don't fucking know. Every, every geographical location you go to, there's going to be a multitude of races, not one race. So you just need to understand we came out of the motherfucking water. That's what you need to fucking understand. Get out of this. Get out of this motherfucking losses they got you in. Tell you, get out of that shit. It'll make no motherfucking sense. 
I already lit this motherfucker. What I lit it, light it again for. But uh, yeah. Also, uh, now, motherfucking uh, Christ. Christ represents ascension, or ascended, or rise, or exaltation, or signifying wisdom, or being risen, or rise. In all magnitudes, before you anthropomorphize one specific story and think there could only be one Christ, you need to know that Christ is just another word for what we use today as exaltation. So back in the day, Jupiter was the father, right? So Jupiter wasn't in the first seven days. Jupiter was skipped. Jupiter was get was born. Was born. And since El was Saturn, the seventh day, then I let you know the father is the offspring. So Jupiter, Zeus, is really, is, is really uh, the father in the Bible. It's just another word for the father in the Bible. You see what I'm saying? So once you start to understand that, this gets you this concept right here. It gives you this concept right here. Hold on. It gives you this concept right here. Remember when I told y'all God represent all possibilities? So it gives it gives you the concept of God's truth truth squ square, right? So since Jupiter is going to be an offspring of Saturn, you're going to do a like a, a Saturn magic square, right? You're going to do a Saturn magic square real quick, right? So this is a Saturn magic square right here, right? Right here, we're going to put holy right here in the middle. We're going to put holy right here in the middle, right? We're going to put Noah. We're going to put Noah up here, right? We're going to put Africa down here. We're going we're gonna to put Africa down here, right? We're going to put... Uh, Hold on. The West, China, uh, how'd it go? How'd it go? It's a God's true square. Where it's like these motherfuckers come, they take shit from Africa. It, it, it's like it's it's a I might have got this wrong, but it's it's a God's true square. And this is how they this is how they did it within Saturn. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. God's true square. All right, got it. All right, now check this out. We might get into some ge geometry right now. This is what this what the uh this what the Masons got y'all in right now. Check it out. Check it out. This is what the Masons got y'all in, y'all. Check it out. Now this is what we gonna do. Hold on. This is what you're going to do. It's a, it's a triangle. That's why I did that. So, <clears throat> for the most part, this is a story. And they, this is how they're controlling the world, right? So, blessings. So, blessings get brought down from Solomon's temple, right? The all-seeing eye. So, Noah will be the sun. Euro and Europe will be the moon, right? So, America will be the... Uh, well, well, no, Europe will be the sun. America will be the moon. Who came to America? Europe. Now, right here in the middle, they try to e they try to equalize things. So they they try to be the all seeing eye and bring blessings, brings blessings down. Right now, these blessings that they bring down is to where Africa, where Ham went, or the South Africa, or the dark people. Right, and over here. Right, Shem, Asia, all the light people. So light, sun, moon, uh, dark. Right, Indians, Asians. Right, uh, uh, Berber, uh, Berbers, uh, motherfucker, um, um, Somalians or whatever, whatever. However deep y'all want to fucking get into uh, or shit and things and like that. Now, I, I ain't mean to say Somalians, but y'all know just the dark skin and the light skin has nothing to do with white people and black people. Not, let me repeat, nothing to do with y'all be calling a Caucasian or whatever the fuck y'all be talking about. This is on the southern hemisphere of Africa, 
the sun is a lot closer to that body of water. So the spirits that came on land went through more went through more tr transformation. So that temperament made them create more tougher clay, tougher flesh. So what you see with this is not an aspect of somebody getting dark from sunlight. If that's the case, why white people don't get dark? You see what I'm saying? It's not that ad, it's not, it don't mean that. It means the geographical location you came up and the temperament is what kind of skin you developed. So therefore, you could be a white person born in a certain hemisphere and you look that way. You got a big nose. You might be a little, you look like a Berber. You might got big lips. You might look Latin. So we start calling you Puerto Rican. But who said that you was different from what we call it white? You see what I'm saying? You the same thing. You just came out of a different part of the water. So what am I saying? We're all the same thing. We all just came out of a different part of the water. Now, all of us is a, is a we all on one chakra, a big body of water from Antarctica to the eastern continents. That's a star. That's a big ass star. When you look at the sun, you basically or another star, you're looking at a version of what we on. So we split them up. We split them up into seas because we so small. We're, we're inside of this. So we're so small in this water cycle. Right. So that geogra geographical location, body of water, densities and salts in the water and sulfurs in the water. Right. The spirits that came up out of that water had this had maybe that kind of skin. When the sun came across, was close to another part of the water that we on, and both of those parts of waters was close, aka that time zone was experiencing spring and summer, that temperament happened, and that temperament of catastrophic moment, right? Then that came up out of that. Now there's an area where that body of water, the sun, was so close to the body of water we was on that the that race came out and had very tough skin. Very tough hair, very brittle nails, right? So they went through some hell, right? Now, here's the thing. That's Africa. We ain't saying that's black people. That's Berbers. That's that's motherfucking, um, man, you know how many races over there in Africa? You gonna have to pick one. You gonna have to pick one, motherfucker. You better believe it. So when your ass sitting around talking about some African American or some shit like, you don't know what the fuck you talking about. You better believe it. <laughs> talking about you the true Africa. You the true African. What the fuck is that? You know how many dark races over there and light and medium races over there? Which one? I bet you don't know. And the moment you, the moment you just say African or Africa, you lost, you, you lost what I be in what I'm talking about. You got to use they shit to come argue with me. You don't even know about yourself. You don't know how to think. Now look, check this out. Now, see, now that we got that out the way, right? We got that triangle out the way, right? The shadow government, the Masons, they feel like they could bring blessings by building up Asia with pillars and columns and building up Africa with pillars and columns, right? Now, it gets in reverse. The triangle goes in reverse. See what I'm saying? So, what's the reverse? What's the reverse triangle? Hold on, oh shit. What's the reverse? The curse. Blessing up here. This the 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 uh the the day, the sun. Then you got the other side, the moon. I gotta stop, I gotta get this off of flipping. So you got the sun, the moon, when you flip it on the side. So it try to equalize that. Equalizing that is the holy, the holy land. You know what I'm saying? Israel. Right. So for the most part, when you do it backwards, curses go to here on the triad. Right. Curses go to Noah. So that means Noah was cursed, a.k.a. America. That just means them, them coming over and taking over America. So Noah is just another word for them coming over and, and raping pillage uh, and taking over the lands of America. So they curse America and they curse uh, and they curse Europe. So they curse Europe and they curse America. From that, from that aspect. See what I'm saying? Now, then you got this one. You got this triangle. See what I'm saying? This triangle right here is e Egypt. Egypt represents slavery. And here's the thing. But look, I'm on an actual website. So it's not, I'm on an actual Masonic website. So it's not like a, I'm lying to y'all. A lot of y'all be like, oh, this pseudo or some shit like that. Look, I ain't make this shit up. Look, they got you in a magic square. 
Look! Ah! <laughs> they tell you about all the Jamatria and they got y'all monkey asses in. That ain't just it. They tell y'all all the star numbers, they got y'all monkey asses in. Ah! Ah! They clearly tell y'all about... Ah! <laughs> oh, everything. <laughs> Don't think I'm making this up. Motherfucker. Ah! <laughs> I think I'm making this shit up, bitch. This is some real shit. Look. They tell you all about it. They tell you all about it. Motherfucker. They tell you what they did. The, the, the number system they got y'all in with the magic squares. The the feet, the height. When, when you look at it, how it make you feel. Everything. Ah! 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 <laughs> they got the whole operational variable run down. Ah! These motherfuckers don't play. That's why I be saying, like, these motherfuckers weak as hell. Like, y'all don't be seeing this shit. God damn, what's wrong with y'all? God damn, look, they, look, they, they, took, they show you how you to cross. How you need to pick up your own cross and walk. And what do that actually mean? And 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 what it, and how it's supposed to be seen? And, and, and why motherfuckers is lost? And, and what religious people really worship? Ah! Ah! Thank you so much for the donation, Ah, Thema Asher. Ah! I'm tired. Look, look, this is y'all worship. This, this is y'all worship. Al Alice. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> this world don't make no sense. I'm sorry, it don't make no sense. So next time y'all bucky asses be talking about y'all ancestors and shit like that, god, god damn, shit get deep. Shit get deep. Cause, cause this is what y'all don't, under, look, this, this how deep they got the reverse psychology, right? <clears throat> they teach y'all what something is, right? But that ain't the point. The point is y'all using their mind to know what something is. So for an example, th this the this the spiritual trick. And this the last I'm gonna speak on this. This the spiritual trick. And I'm gonna use ancestors as an example. But you do it, but do this with everything, right? They taught y'all what ancestors mean, right? So when you when you think about your ancestors and people before you, right? When you make that thought in your mind, you don't got no other thing to think of. But ancestor, right? So the meaning and that term when you use it, that helps you understand and help other people understand what you're talking about when you're communicating. But see, listen, you're using someone's language. So this is how deep they go with it, right? Yo, when you use ancestors to under to understand your ancestors, they're sitting back saying they created the concept ancestor. So when you running around thinking that, oh, ancestor mean my old people. Yeah, it means that. But the words you using, you're in the vibration of worshiping their past people. So erase the word ancestor. A ancestor is a word that mean our past people. But then when you use the word ancestor, you think you're you think you're using it to describe your old people. But just by you having to use that to even make sense out of what you're trying to say, that's you worshiping their ancestors. You're worshiping their concept to have the ability to have that thought. You get it? Otherwise, you will have your own word, your own family, your own tribe that have a saying that y'all know what y'all talking about amongst yourselves. Y'all don't, though. You see what I'm saying? So it's that deep. It's like, that's how deep it is. These motherfuckers go beyond levels. So every time we want to even think about, oh shit, my ancestors, we talking about their ancestors. Otherwise, we, we wouldn't even know what we talking about. You see what I'm saying? So when you want to think about people that's before you, right? At the same time, yeah, they came up with terms and terminologies to explain that. 
But that's not even necessarily what it is. Because then you will start thinking that <laughs> these motherfuckers actually can help you in some way, shape, or form. When you're supposed to help them. You're supposed to help them get out of, get out of jail. Get out of purgatory. See, it's like you got to learn life. Everybody's smarter than their grandparent. And, and, your gra and your grandparent was smarter than their grandparent. And they, and, and they grandparent was smarter than their grandparent. It was never vice versa. See what I'm saying? Only thing you could take is some goddamn wisdom. But you got to take that wisdom and go into new territory. Now, also, like I said, <clears throat> Egypt. Egypt gives gives minerals or resources to America, uh, to Europe and Asia. So the shadow government take things from Egypt. So this will be a version of the blessings on this aspect. So Egypt, they take Egypt blessings and give it to and give it to uh, Europe and Asia. So this is why Asia run y'all uh, technology, and this is why Europe run y'all money. You see what I'm saying? Now, getting on this air. Babylon, K, uh, city of Cain, city of war, Mars, frustrating thoughts, people who can't agree on things in that nature, right? So for the most part, this will play out the attribute of the curse of that pillar, of that day and night pillar. You know what I'm saying? So for the most part, that, that triangle right there, right? Egypt, uh, oh, not, uh, Babylon, Babylon curse, Babylon curses Europe. Oh, hold on, where I'm at? No, wrong side. Okay, Babylon curses America, right? So what theology is America wrapped up under? Rome and Babylon. So Babylon curses America with that theology, and then it also curses motherfucker, uh, what's this? Africa. So Ham and Africa. So keep that in mind also. So they're trying to say motherfucker Babylon, that concept cursed uh, Africa too. It cursed America and Africa. So a lot of y'all people who, who claim y'all Pan-Africans and shit like that and trying to live that way in America, you're under their magic square. So you must have learned something in your life, went to their school, read one of their books for you to have, for you to have that mind frame. So if you if you a Hebrew Israelite or whatever, I'm showing you the magic square you lost in. I'm showing you the shit the bases got you in. You might want to say, oh no, nah, we God's people are this that a third. No, you ain't. You ain't the elected one. You don't know shit about symbolism. You can't build the pillar of your fucking life to ah! This only this the only shit your ass know. A curse. Yo, Bucky ass got a curse. That's the only thing. Yo, a curse from Babylon. Everybody in America and everybody in Africa. So everybody in America who think they from Africa is playing along this motherfucking curse that they got y'all is. Like, but it's not like they they telling you this though. Read, 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 motherfucker. Holy Land is is the center. Read, motherfucker. Holy Land. It's the center. It's going to tell you some shit. <laughs> Read, motherfucker. Get out that Bible. Read, bitch. <gasps> ah! Ah! <laughs> Believe it. <laughs> These motherfuckers ain't playing with y'all. These motherfuckers, witchcraft, they trying to put that shit down. They ain't business. They on some get down or lay down type shit. You better motherfucker believe it. They telling you, Israel... Uh, the people, the people God called to dwell in the holy land. God put the blessings and the curse before Israel, a.k.a. the rise and fall accord, accordingly to the covenant at that time, a.k.a. the land of the law, the rulers. All these niggas was masons. Damn. Now, look, <coughs> I think I think we did all the uh, all the triangles, but then we got we got to uh, match out some squares, too. But this is a. This, uh, this right here, if you understand numerology and Dramatia, you understand that this is Saturn. So this is encapsulated in Saturn. So they're trying to say Saturn is the all seeing eye because these lands is governed by Saturn. Because this is the Saturn magic square. And this magic, this magic square got created from us trying to track Saturn. A.K.A. anytime the sun, that sun, is going through the time that y'all call winter time. 
So we try to figure out why it's moving that way and what springs it back up. And that led, led us understand it to seven realms of separation and the times of the day. And then us finding Saturn or some shit or manifesting it or some goddamn shit. Like we we creating this shit. They they created George Washington up there. They used to put a donation markets and I said, he he. <laughs> you real shit, real shit. You better believe it. They, and, but we gotta look at the world like that. Cause the world is a joke. For real. So if you ain't looking at the world like that, that means you got too many beliefs. So you look at everything too serious. You can't ain't that ain't no way to live life. That ain't, that ain't no way to live life. You you got weak ass magic. You need to know. You need to know. It, change the word belief with magic. Now now y'all gonna start knowing that you got weak ass magic. Say now that ain't, that ain't that ain't fun. That ain't fun being in a world looking at everything serious and shit like that. That's cause you, that come from lack of knowledge, not knowing anything. So everything is a discernment. Everything gotta be shaky. Everything that you gotta build up another another war warship inside of you and shit like that and all kind of shit and shields and all kind of to the point that you gonna you gonna die not doing anything but that that you took all your spiritual power doing that protecting yourself in a world that you shouldn't even came here in the first place probably should have been killed yourself ah before you before you would up manifesting a situation and harm yourself and others <laughs> kill yourself and have other people killed. You in a fucked up ass vibration, but you got friends now. Oh shit. You a, you in civilization now. Oh shit. Now we got all these stories of college kids going off the motherfucker cliff and shit like that off the bridge or getting lost in the woods and, and dying and shit like that from car accidents and shit like that. All cause your weak ass vibration. For real. Get out of that shit. Get out. Bringing all these spirits in the whip. Get kicked out the whip fast, motherfucker. Now also. All right, so let me finish running these down. I didn't even know we going close to two hours of this motherfucker. So let me finish this. I bet you did a whole lot of rambling in this motherfucker. But like I said, also, all right. Holy. Holy means unfulfilled, unsatisfied. So replace what it's trying to make you believe. Take everything as is first. You know what I'm saying? You got to take everything as is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, as far as. The, ener the, the energies piecing them out. So for the most part, it's like this. Holy. Before you add spirit to it, just understand what holy means. It means unfulfilled, unsatisfied. So when you got holy spirit, holy ghost, it can only play out those characteristics. So for an, ex so for an example, if spirit or ghost is just another word for fire or water, you know what I'm saying? And then for the most part, that's just another term for thought or image or feeling, right? And then you got holy in front of it, right? Now, you might be a religious person and be like, oh, this is pseudo. This don't make sense. But I promise you, read your Bible, but put this, but put that into text. Holy means unfulfilled, unsatisfied, and spirit means image or thought form or vision, right? Or holy or ghost means fire or light or vision, right? Now put those two things together. Holy Ghost and Holy Spirit. Now, you might think this blasphemy because you might be like, no, it said don't change the Bible words or whatever like that. But try it, and I bet you get the spiritual energies out the book. Because I just explained it to you without the book. Holy means unfulfilled, unsatisfied. Spirit means fire, flame in the, in that book, or, or motherfucking uh, the image, right? So when you So that's the spirit outside of it. Now, when you go into the book, every time you see that term, Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit, it's always going to be pertaining to a story of someone in trial or tribulation or something that's unfulfilled or something that needs to be done or the Holy Spirit got to come shine a light into you. And now you got to go practice a ritual for it. It's always going to be correlated to something being unfulfilled, a thought form, an unfulfilled thought. You thinking of not having something and you thinking of having to do something or putting into putting in a work to get that done all those kind of thoughts all those thoughts that develop into describing those thoughts as that's an unfulfilled thought or that's an unfulfilled feeling you feel lack of you feel like you ain't done something right so when so when you a protestant you might get lost in a book like oh the holy spirit and then everything that they taught you about the holy spirit and be blinded to what you reading and that's what you reading every time you read the holy spirit or holy ghost is always about un something's unfulfilled 
So come on now. Wake up your mind. Come on now. It ain't that hard. You got to have some spiritual discernment. Not take your own feelings and emotions away so you ain't got no discernment. Then you get possessed by the word. And someone else is feeling behind that word. So now you, you don't even know what it means. You don't even know what you argue. See what I'm saying? Heaven. Heaven is a different term for air. The air element. So, so spirit would be the fire element. Heaven would be the air element. I think they actually call it water. But water, water represents emotions and feelings. So every time you hear water in the Bible, emotions and feelings. Right? So you got many feelings, large feelings, impactful feelings. Based upon if it's dealing with sprinkling or if it's dealing with rivers, rivers and oceans. This is large, a large feeling, a large impression. Don't anthropomorph this anthropomorph anthropomorphifies when they try to explain it to you though, so you can understand it, not get lost into it. Right? Now, Earth represents practic uh, practicalizing, concentrating, forming a thought. Heaven of air, thinking. Spirit, fire, imagining, passion, a will to live, water, emotions. Feelings, earth, practicality, trying to form these things. That's something on its own. Earth ain't something. How y'all be trying to make it? Earth is just like fire, water, and air. And this this ain't technically fire. This is this is a this is a mixture of fire, water, earth, and air. It just got more of the fire slash water element to it. Fire and water is one thing. Hot and cold versions of fluid. And air and earth is one thing. Shapeless and shapeless and formless and, and coming into form. You see what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. It's like fire and water really don't even exist in reality. We make it exist with alchemy. So your sun will be like gold. Venus will be like sulfur. Your Saturn, your crown chakra that go to your crown to your knees. That that travel when you land down and 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 uh, or in Sin Indian style, right? That'll be like. Like like a metal, like a like a uh, tin or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, mercury is like quicksilver and shit like that. And when you do, you could sh you could shine if you know how to if you know how to make that. If you will manifest these things in your life, like for real, for real, like literally. And that's what magic really is. We make everything we see outside of us. And when you do it by yourself. The energy is much smaller, so it comes at a much smaller percentage level. So it would be something you have to go out and look for or find or manifest via person, place, or thing, or circumstance, or situation in your life. But teamwork makes the dream work. And we was all in a motherfucking circle, and we know what the fuck we doing and shit like that. And go to fall out the fucking air. You better believe it. You better believe it. You better motherfucking believe it. But look, check this out. Also, nat uh, uh, natures in the Bible. Anytime you hear that, this represents our desires from our from our uh, root chakra to um, to our to our love and hate and our will. So keep that in mind. Also, salvation, salvation in the Bible represents to give your spiritual sovereignty away in return for a desire. So keep that in mind. This is a witchcraft right here that they didn't westernize. If, if you if you lost into the King James Bible, you got practice witchcraft on. Anytime you heard that word salvation and anytime you jumped into a feeling, you practice internal work. And however, however they made you feel about salvation based upon how they word it and the context they put it in, that, that rewired your mind. So for the most part, you think to give yourself and lessen yourself is the right thing to do. And you're really just doing it for the government right now. So keep that in mind. And Protestants don't know how to conflate the government with religion because they don't understand that the government called witchcraft Christianity. Right. So Jesus back then, and all these people, his disciples, if you want to think about these people being real individual, which it wasn't no person named Jesus. It was just individuals who think this way. And it been individuals who think like that throughout the throughout the civilizations. So you got different stories. Gilgamesh, all kind of. And these might not have been real people, but us today play out these characteristics. You see what I'm saying? So it's saying that whatever they was practicing was some 
Whoever come and claim that they are these things that we be seeing, they claim that they are God and shit like that. Whatever that is, that's some witchery, witchcraft shit or whatever like that. And we run the world right now. We can't have that. But it looked like they get a lot of followers and shit. So let's do that. So now we got priests, we got rabbis, and let's call it Christianity. So now it's under all, it's under our law. It's under our oath. So you ain't running no country. You ain't jumping into no high facility, facilitized building or business or control of the world if you ain't took no oath. And that oath goes over the Bible. And they not looking at the Bible the way you look at it. They looking at it because it's a ritual and spell. See what I'm saying? So that oath and all that shit, Christianity, that's law and government. That's the government today. The apocrypha, people like us, we the Jesus Christes. We we the, we that shit. You see what I'm saying? That's that's what that is. We don't we don't want to get ran under no law and government. We don't want to get ran under no worldview, under no theology. We don't want to be 21st century demons. That's the spiritual nature of it through all civilizations. I don't know where down the line 2,000 years Protestants that got fucking lost. That's why anytime I do get into a religious to see whose side, I, not, I always take the Catholicism side. I don't fuck with Catholicism. But if you is gonna be religious, how the fuck you ain't how the fuck you ain't into the orthodox? Then what the fuck is you? What the fuck is that shit you in? That don't even make sense. They the first demons. They they that's their concept. How is you Martin Luther or somebody could, taking somebody else's visions and trying to say you got the true day vision? You don't need the oral tradition. You you don't need their mind state. You don't need the way they think. You got your own version of the way they think. That's really what you're saying. Because as a Protestant, it boils down to you worshiping somebody's vision, somebody's philosophical point of view, somebody's way of thinking about the world. And you think it's objective for some strange reason. Because somebody, because thank you so much for the donation, Sin La. Because here's a dumb argument a Protestant will make, right? They say it's a fact because something is said in the Bible. Who the fuck said because it said because it, it was written in the Bible that's a fucking fact? Just because in the Bible it got some type of representation of God being uh, omnipresent or omnipotent, right? Whoever wrote the fucking Bible, that was their claim. And ah! like, like, what are we doing? Like, you have motherfuckers having two thousand year old arguments to this day, and really think they smart saying dumb shit like that. Saying, well, you can't go against that. You don't have a worldview. Because you don't have nothing to believe in. Who said that's what you're supposed to do? And, and just because, and then it say, okay, and what you believe in ain't omnipresent. So since what you believe in don't, don't seem like something I believe in or what I'm supposed to believe in, then for the most part, then you're wrong and you worship demons. Who said worshiping anything is a concept? What? It's like that's just because somebody claimed it 2,000 years ago and they was lost back then. What the fuck? The reason why motherfuckers be lost right now. It don't make no sense. Then a real God would come and kill that motherfucker asses and be like, I ain't never know. I don't know you. Crush you like a jelly bean, like LL Cool J. Now, also, all right, so let me finish this off. Every two hours in this motherfucker, right? Now, salvation. I already said that. That represents uh, to give your spiritual sovereignty away. To, to gain some type of desire in return. Go to heaven. Heaven, that ain't even what heaven is. How they even trying to explain it. They, they never even told you, you going to heaven. Heaven is something you're supposed to bring down here. Last time I checked. Look, listen. <laughs> Last time I read this fucking Bible. It, it told me God was bringing heaven down here. This concept of y'all dying and going to heaven, where y'all get that from? I can't find that. I can't, I can't find that nowhere. I swear I'll be trying. <laughs> Every time that I get close, it, it say only one person was with God. It was Jesus. So I'm like, I can't, I can't find no nobody else. Ah! I can't find it. 
<laughs> ah. <laughs> so for real, I really, I really gotta act. What do y'all be talking about? Where y'all get that from? That y'all like y'all going to heaven? Like literally, like for real. Where did y'all get that from? You ain't going nowhere. You coming right back here? Be born again. I repeat. Where did y'all get that concept? Y'all going to heaven? That's not in the Bible. Let me Google that. I read this Bible about fifty times, bro. It's not in here. Only one person went there, and what they talk about is heaven. Ain't even what the preachers and shit be talking about. So I repeat, where y'all get that from? Where y'all get that when y'all die, y'all go to heaven? Where y'all get that from? <laughs> Let me Google this real quick. Hold on. I, I don't know because maybe I missed it. Maybe I missed it. Going to heaven in the Bible. Okay, what does the Bible say about who is going to heaven? Okay, I read this. It ain't say nobody went to heaven. I, I read this in the Bible. But let me see on the, the internet. Yeah, I, I, John, at John chapter uh, 5, fucking part, part 52, however the fuck y'all say that shit. It say, uh, truly, 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 I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has internal, has internal life. He does not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. <laughs> what the, the doll say shit about you? Going, ah! 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 That shit don't say shit about you going to heaven. That shit, shit, that shit said internal life. AKA, you bring that shit to you. The fuck is you talking about? Okay, Matthew. Matthew uh, chapter 7. Now we're going through Matthew chapter 7. It's saying, not. We're going to look. We're going through all the verses that say. Who is going to heaven? <clears throat> it ain't say nothing about nobody went there. This motherfucker. It, it, it don't say. It, it don't say nobody going to heaven. So I don't even know why I say that at the top. Who is going to heaven? It say who is going. It ain't say. That, it ain't say that was a concept. Watch none of these chapters about to say it. Look, not everyone. So whoever whoever wrote this at the top, whoever the, whoever authored this website, they got the concept wrong. They must think that <clears throat> that's what the Bible talking about. So they they're trying to make it as a the, they this must be a theologian get ready to make an argument trying to say oh the internal realm yeah that means going to heaven or something like that no no don't try to that ain't in the Bible don't take some shit that ain't in the Bible and try to put it in the Bible that, that's what they be doing that's all they always do that shit <laughs> take some shit that ain't in the Bible and put it in there to try to say it makes sense like the the triune God the Platonic shape the tri the Platonic shape Platonism God the uh the hypostatic union and uh. Uh, the Hemeticana Communicatum <coughs> Federal Hep shit bullshit, aka those are just different terminologies for phallic religion. So if you if you ever came across Federal Hep shit or Hyperstatic Union, then do your research do your research on phallic religion. Then you'll understand. All right, uh, look, then look, Matthew, Matthew chapter seven. It say not e not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, light, light, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Right. But the one but the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my father who is in heaven, a motherfucker who was in heaven on that day, many will say to me, hold on, yeah, on that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do mighty works in your name? And then we'll declare to them, I never knew you depart from me, your workers of lawlessness. Once again. It, they don't say shit about you going to he heaven. It say, I don't know you. You ain't never coming here. Ah! Ah! I don't get it. Where is y'all finding that y'all going to, the, to heaven in the, in the Bible? It never says it. It never say y'all going to heaven. None of these chapters that's related to when they describe heaven. It never say that's where you going. It never say that. Where did y'all get that from? Uh, also, um, now it, it, it changed the whole subject on y'all monkey asses when it said the uh, Lord, Lord will not everyone who says Lord, Lord will enter into the kingdom of heaven. That mean not it. It ain't never said nobody. <laughs> it said not everyone. It ain't mentioned nobody. It switched the whole goddamn subject. 
It said the father who is in heaven, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, uh, did, we did these things in your name. And it was said, I would never knew you. So it's basically saying if you a preacher, you're doing the wrong thing. That's what it's saying. If you a preacher, God don't know you. That's what it's saying. I don't know what you taking out of this to be like, to be like, oh, I'm going to heaven. I'm the electric one. And as many people down here that's trying to act like they're Jesus, but they're not. That's why I got to come up and, and create my denomination. No, you the living example of this, of this scripture, bitch. Do you get it? If you a preacher, theologian, you are the living example of this motherfucker. Oh, I got to blow my nose. You are the living example of this scripture right here. Many will come in his name. Many, many will say, I cast demons out in your name. And God going to say he don't know you. So what the fuck is y'all doing with y'all selves? What's wrong with y'all? And you think you got to do that to go to heaven? Lord have mercy. Romans. Romans chapter 6. It say, uh, at Romans chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is, is death. But the free spirit of God is eternal. Life in Christ. Jesus our Lord. It says nothing about you going to heaven. We're going to read a few more. I, I got to find it, though. I skipped a few of those. I ain't see those, and it still ain't showing me where it say your monkey ass is going to heaven. Revelation. Like, hey, we're in Revelation right now. Revelation, verse 21. I mean, chapter 21, verse 8. But, at, but as for the cowardly, the faithless, the, the detestable, as for the murderers, the sexually immoral, sorcerers, ide ideologers, these are all virtues. Not people, virtues. And all liars, their portions will be in the lake that burns. The lake that burns means a desire. When you get lost in those virtues, lost into sorcery, lost into it being immoral, lost into idolatry, lost into lying. You get lost into a desire. And you might get small gains after a while, but once once these things leave, you done got so attached to these things, you feel like the world have ended once these things separate from you. So for the most part, that's what it means you're burning. You're burning in that light you were supposed to let go. That desire you were supposed to let go. That spirit, a.k.a. that fire, how they try to call it, you were supposed to let go. But you are the spirit. And when you make a piece of yourself, you create an offspring of yourself. We call it consciousness today. And that, that's the spiritual energy out of it. But we, it still ain't talking about, God damn it, uh, heaven. And it say, with fire and surfer, keyword surfer. Y'all heard how I broke down surf, uh, sulfur, right? Venus, which is the second death. Love, sulfur, Venus, the second death. Too much love of yourself, too much love of sorcery, ideology, can lead to burning. So when you see Jesus on the cross, the cross represents the body. The solar plexus represents a person's individuality. And when a person take their individuality and go into their lower chakras, they go into their hell. So when you see Jesus... Um, on, let me put, let me pull out this book. Pull out this image for y'all. About to get into this shit. Eee. Mm -hmm. Pull out, pull out this, uh, this picture for y'all real quick. This shit, this shit is very easy to understand. Okay, look, check this out. All right. Now, you see this picture right here, right? So that's what it's representing. This is the body. The Christ is the, the person, the daughters of men. The solar plexus, that's just, this is just anthropomorphizing. This person is representing the this. It just, do, it just drew this for you to understand it. So that's Jesus, right? So that would be the son. But this represents your individuality, right? And when it goes down... It goes down into your lower animalistic natures, right? And that's your second death. So this dragon represents Venus. This represents Venus right here, right? The lesser light Venus, right? So you as an individual loving yourself too much becomes selfishness. You get into ide idolatry. You get into um, you get into that sulfur down here, right? You take your gold and it get mixed with the sulfur and you suffocate yourself, right? You're in blindness, right? You, you're in your own light where you, you don't see nothing else around you. Everything else is dark. 
You only see your own light. So egotistical. You see what I'm saying? Narcissistic energy, right? And you're getting you're getting you're getting killed and ate away by your desire, your fires, your flames, your passions, your will to live, the shit you love, the shit you haven't learned how to do in moderation. So the very same thing that you love can destroy you. It, it's so much, it's it's beyond this. This is like a, a million different fucking movies right here. You better believe. Even this shit. That shit. That shit was Adam and Eve. This the fall. This the fall right here. Adam and Eve and things of that nature, where things have fall. So this would be the equilibrium. You know what I'm saying? So this is Lilith. This the fall. See, y'all think I be bullshitting? I'll be fucking. But y'all Protestants, y'all y'all need to wake the fuck up. Y'all don't be. Y'all, this is y'all worship the devil. Ah! Take a good look, bitch. Ah. <laughs> Take a good look at what you worship. Every time you talk about Adam and Eve and shit, this how the people who who made your shit look at it. You see what I'm saying? So, so for the most part, right? Ah, up here is equilibrium, right? So this will be Lilith and the Father. So this represents the seventh, eighth, and ninth dimension where we all become aware. Once you become aware, that's that crown. So a lot of times you might see masons and shit wear top hats and shit like that. It's supposed to represent authority and rulership. Or, or or squaring your mentality to the utmost right in some way, shape, or form, based upon whatever uh, uh, um, lodge or ceremonies you're practicing or degrees you're in, right? Then you got the sword. This the the sword represents the word. So this the word, and the word becomes flesh. That's why it's red. So it's bloody. You know what I'm saying? Because the word is flesh. You know what I'm saying? So our our higher masculine and feminine that's one come down as a word. And now we got offsprings. We got Adam and we got Eve. But for the most part, we got the two polar shifts too. And we got the Roy we got uh motherfucking uh Taurus, Aquarius, motherfucking um Scorpio and Leo. You know what I'm saying? Scorpio was once the ego. Cause and this is how we start to understand the fixed energies, right? To so start to correlate. So this is the the fixed part of the cross, also, right? So this this is actually the zodiac too. But before I break down where Aries at and and, and Pisces at, I just want to break down the fall. Because this is like four different things. This is the Zodiac Wheel. This is Adam and Eve story. This is uh, your masculine and feminine energies. And this is the Kabbalah Tree of Life. It's, it's like four different things. Like you got to be spiritually a clock. You got to catch shit. Because here, here's the thing. I don't, I don't give a fuck if you got this book. Or I don't give a fuck if you got these books or not. If you don't know what the fuck you're looking at, you don't know what the fuck you're looking at. That's the thing. You can have the Bible all you want. You can have these kind of books all you want. If you don't, if you still don't, the, they don't explain it. It just tell you it. It don't explain what the fuck they doing. You still don't know what the fuck going on. You still got to have spirit, spiritual discernment for yourself. And then you will come to the conclusion on who wrote these books is in. You see what I'm saying? But uh, for the most part, um. Yeah, this is like four different things. This the this the this is Aries through Pisces. This is how we deal with our masculine and feminine energies. This is the Kabbalah tree of life. This is the cross. This is AM to PM. Um, this is the sun and the moon. This is like six or seven different stories. Like for I could be breaking this down all motherfucking night. Oh shit, we on two hours. I gotta get out of here. But look, uh, let me let me run, let me run this down though. Right, and then for the most part, you, these are the Hebrew letters. Y'all y'all know um, y'all represent these things, right? So you don't get lost in that also. It's, it's symbolism. Not in any real language yet. Right? And then for the most part, once you get these, these break that uh once you get that breaking down into four, then I break down into two. So when you think about Adam, right? Eve is the lower animalistic natures. These are our daughters of men, our desires. Before the before the body became a body, it was just water or below the horizon, where Venus and Mars is at. Now, our thought, Adam, our ability to think, the sword, right? So for the most part, pure thought. So this is this thinking without feeling. But that could be very caveman. So without feeling, with thought without feeling has no creation. So thought and feeling come together makes creation. But when you think too much about your feelings and desires, 
it can lead you into catastrophic energies. AKA, you start to justify something you're lost in. Thank you so much for the donation. Shout out to Rise in the House. God damn it. He he, so great. You better believe in Big Sis in the house. He he. You better believe it. God damn it. Go subscribe. You subscribe. Yeah. But yeah, for the most part, like I said, so this is what this represents also. Right? Right here, you got this. This representing the six pointed star. Uh, and, uh, a six pointed star, but then it's, it's also representing the nature behind it as far as the bubbles and the orbs that's in it and things of that nature. So keep that in mind. Also, not, not a six pointed star, but uh, well, it's a six pointed star in this and things of that nature. But let me see how many orbs in this. Uh, it's seven orbs. So the seven will be the equilibrium. So that rise, that rise up in here, things of that nature. So this is what you see the Zionist, the, that six pointed star, all kind of shit. Uh, Jews, um, uh, Masons, Square and Compass, all this shit is the same shit, right? Now, for the most part, um, Adam got entangled. He got entangled in this. So for the most part, it's basically saying that you could take it two different ways. Now we manifested us living inside of a person. So let's say this is one person, right? This water snake being we live in. This is who y'all call God. It's not the overall being. This is a being in the one, four, four, fifth, and sixth dimension, right? This is who y'all calling Jehovah, Yahweh, or whatever like that, right? And this is who y'all calling that. And this is one person. Now, this person has natures. So, this is all the person's natures. So, Adam and Eve are the grand representation of, of all this person's natures. The masculine and feminine natures. So, there's the God, and then the God has his sons. Adam and Eve. His sun and moon. His feelings and his thoughts. Then it has its body. See what I'm saying? It's body. The snake and the cross. That's the body. The cross that can move. The living cross. So th if this was one person, y'all worship Lucifer. Once again, a spirit and Adam and Eve is one person. Y'all need to stop separating. Adam and Eve is anthropomorphizing light if light can talk. So if your masculine and feminine energies can talk and you as a spirit is one person. So that's basically what if you could take it in that interpretation of the Bible. God being one person, Adam and Eve being his masculine and feminine side and the snake and the tree being its body. And you are just you followed that spirit here. So you are just one of these mechanisms, small mechanisms that live inside this being. You live inside this demonic being. That's one way to take it. Second way to take it is this is how you live your life. Right. You're the God. You got your Adam and Eve, right? And then you have to make sure you don't get too lost into trying to justify your desires. Take your AM, the shit that make you feel good, and try to justify it all the time. Take it into a PM so you get lost into it. So it turn into darkness. So your habits and things you like to do start to be perceived as negative or self-destruct, self-sabotaging or destructive or look chaotic to others. Like you don't got your life together. Like so many stories, like, like this shit is like endless. It, it takes a trained eye though. It takes a strong spirit and a trained eye. And you will be able to see all the symbolism without no motherfucking book. All, all you did was look at that. That's all you really looked at. But it takes a trained eye to see it. See what I'm saying? That's it though. And let me, and let me finish these um, in the Bible, right? All right. Uh, Mark of the Beast. Mark of the beast is referring to a time or a beginning of something or the beginning of an animalistic nature. So the, the beginning of a passion, a rulership, or in some way, shape, or form. That's the mark of the beast. The mark of something that was animalistic, a desire. The mark of a desire, a certain desire. And whatever this desire was, when y'all hear that mark of the beast in the Bible, this... Look at the anthropomorphized story. It's going to be explaining that virtue. So you're going to you're going to start to see. Okay, this was the mark of the time that people start feeling this way. You know what I'm saying? And when people feel this way, this what happens. And whatever happens after you read the anthropomorphic story of after you heard the mark of the beast, that that basically the spiritual energy of that of understanding and overstanding is this what happens to anyone who act out those kind of characteristic traits. They, they have a revelation within their own life. They end up having it. So for the most part, this is why the first thing they hand you when you take your monkey ass in jail is a fucking Bible. Because when you go to jail, you have time to ponder and think over your mistakes 
AKA your monkey ass had a revelation. <gasps> but somehow, some way, you didn't know how to understand that when you read that in the Bible. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. God damn it. Lord have mercy. You could have knew that before you took your monkey ass to jail or got locked up. You could have knew what that meant. Damn. Also, uh, mother, the father, that just means the further light or the star or the first in thought. So, you know what I'm saying? That's Jupiter. Jupiter is further out. The father light and uh, and Jupiter has a father. So father time. That would be uh, Kronos. That would be Saturn. You know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. So Jupiter is like mimicking Saturn in some way, shape or form. So if you want to think about it, if you want to think about it from an astronomy perspective, Saturn takes about seven years and the seven is the seventh planet is seven away and it orchestrate our time and the distance it take. Right. For the most part, the second in command is Jupiter. It takes Jupiter a whole year to move through one sign. So Jupiter tells our spiritual time. Our inner time. Because Jupiter is inside Saturn, but Saturn is outside of it. So the further out, I told y'all, externalizing, the further out, that's descension. That's why the 10th house is below the horizon. But y'all think this is the highest you're supposed to go. And you call it your high house in some way, shape, or form. You see what I'm saying? But uh, that that helps you kind of understand uh, that aspect. Oh, I seen the light. Thank you so much for the donation, uh, West Levante. E -e -e. It's your flight date. Go, go. It's your flight date. E -e -e. So, by Saturn being more farther out, it's more practical, material, reality, constructing time base. Jupiter is more in, so it's giving us more of our spiritual time, the faith, the right time to do something. Not when the right time is on a schedule, but the right time intuitively. To do something regardless of the time of the day. See what I'm saying? So that's how you start to understand that. Okay, this is about astrology. People just don't know how to think about it though. It ain't that I'm taking this shit and relating it to astrology. It's whatever these rituals and books is. They took that from astrology. And before it was called astrology. It's just motherfuckers looking at the stars. And trying to relate that to their life. And their natures. The Descendants. Anytime you see descendants, this is many thoughts, tribes, constellations, or, or stars, or offsprings, right, um, in the Bible. Anytime you see the terms descendant. Jesus, right? Jesus is the um, a descendant. So it's not just any old descendant. It's a descendant. So it's specifying something. I thought I didn't say that right. But it's a descendant. A descendant thought form from a previous Sun or a previous star or a previous thought form in some way, shape, or form. So that's like Jesus would be like a new thought, a new virtue, a new principle. And whatever the story of Jesus is, it's explaining that virtue or that principle. And that's a very new principle in that time. So anybody who act out these kind of principles now, and, and you know, and we could correlate that. It's like an energy between the sun, Venus, and Jupiter and shit like that. So it, it leads you into just teaching in all kind of magnitudes. It's just a teaching. Teaching on how to not be lost under your desires in some way shape or form so that's what jesus is, a, is another name for aka this is a, why it's uh anthropomorphized with the sun and things of that nature because that's what your solar plexus help you do in some way shape or form pardon me that's what your solar plexus help you do it help you come up with your own new idea and feeling on how to not get lost about lower animalistic natures and shit like that you end up being your own individual and that's what Jesus was. That's what Jesus is. AKA, when you hear me say that's what Jesus was, that's what Jesus is. When you take that in your in your ears, you're supposed to be like, oh yeah, that's what that's what my sun sign was. That's what my sun sign is. That's what my solar plexus was. That's what my solar plexus is. So you as a spirit flying your solar plexus, go find your footprints. Go find where you started at. Go, go find all the and you. You have to find it through virtues. You have to find it through light. And that light spaceship, you will jump through it as a spaceship. You will use that light as a form of a spaceship. And it takes you through these experiences. And these experiences, if you're able to be very creative within these experiences and it feel comfortable to you. And you actually could bring that 
and express it and make it relatable to the external world in some way, shape, or form, they, they, God damn it, you, uh, you covering your tracks now. Otherwise, who else can do it but you? If you can't do it, no one else will be able to do it. So you brought that vision here. So who else is that vision but you? You get it? So that's how spirituality work. Y'all, y'all have allowed these masons and shit to, to, to allow them to think, oh, since we built it and we got these visions, oh, so we the grand architects. So our family member must be up there too. So they follow their ancestors shit. They, they don't cling on race. They cling on mind frames. So you got to be the type of person that just be willing to go through all the ceremonies and practices. And then that's how they look at you to be like, oh, oh, this soul group right here. See what I'm saying? Regardless if you Chinese or whatever. So for the most part, that's how this shit work. This shit, this is what we all motherfucking doing in this motherfucking shit. You just got to find your peace, your family and, and stop worshiping a place that you get ready to go to be a, to be a slave because it's their shit. You can go to your shit. See what I'm saying? And the son. Son. Offspring, thought, virtue, or principle. See what I'm saying? Son of man. A light or thought of uh, a light or thought of the mankind virtue. So mankind is a virtue. Mankind. Man, a thought form, kind. So mankind is the kind that think. So spirits that take those forms, you you take forms that have the kind of thinking. You are, you see what I'm saying? So we have to utilize our kind of thinking and use our common sense because we are beings of kinds of thinking. We, we are the beings of the kinds. These beings are the kinds, a.k.a. these kinds of beings that think. So these are thinking kinds, thinking beings. So replace kinds with beings. See what I'm saying? So there's a lot of different kinds we experience down here that may be less involved in thinking. So we might see bugs, animals, and shit like that. Being mankind, see, so male and female is something different. This is why I always tell y'all, this is why you, this is why you don't go around saying bugs and animals. Oh, is that a, is that a real man? Is that a real woman? No, you just consider it as a male because that's all you, that's all you, your monkey ass is. Male, centaur, female, mermaid, aka just different terminologies for fire water. But for the most part, when you equilibrium, make that six point star come together and things of that nature, we are all dragons. Moving crosses. That's what a dragon is. Something, a physical shape and form, an altar or a cross that can move, that can mimic the spirit a little bit. Might not be much, might has an expiration date, but it could do it just a little bit so the spirit can experience itself before it's no thing again and have to go do it again. So we always trying to create externalizations. That's what, that's, that ain't nothing but what heaven is. Trying to create another form of body. That's what we all doing, motherfucker. You just doing it in a dumbass concept. That's another video. But uh, for the most part, um, then you got, uh, so that's, that's son of man. Um, you know what I'm saying? Son of man is an offspring of the mankind virtue. See what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. So when man is able to think, the thoughts that man have could be many versions of sons. So many thoughts, offspring from those bigger thoughts. So that's sons of man. You know what I'm saying? AKA, if you want to call yourself a man or a woman, when you have a thought, you got a son. When a woman have a thought, when a man have a thought, that's your son. So that would be the sons of man, the sons of woman. The, the thoughts amongst humanity and the feelings amongst humanity, that's the sons of man. The way y'all think. Being in a man or a woman form body. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Son means light. Thoughts. Now, and then, uh, and then speaking or spoke. So anytime you hear it, because you're going to hear this a lot in the Bible. Speaking or the Lord spoke. A.K.A. this is you talking to yourself or you letting your desires make the decisions for you. And you as a God or a goddess or a spirit talking to yourself. So when, when anytime you, you hear the Lord spoke and the Lord said, replace the, the Lord with light. The light is information and the thought said, I told you the whole book is about anthropomorphizing light. If you want to teach your kid about how blood cells is, go, go get the movie, go put on the movie Osmosis Jones. They're going to be anthropomorphizing blood cells. If you want to know how light work, go get a Bible. They're going to be anthropomorphizing light. 
all the way to the point that they put a human in front of the star behind them. Thank you so much for the donation, under Underwater Panther. Hee -hee. So keep that in mind. So once you understand that, right, and the Lord speak, and the light spoke, and the thought spoke. So this is a person. This is a person who's sitting back, letting their thoughts talk to them. So anytime you, anytime you hear in the Bible, uh, the word speaking or and the Lord spoke. Now you about to see it a whole. You about to see that passage a whole different way. Now I guarantee you. And that's like the, that term is like in the in the Bible a thousand times. I bet I could open up the Bible at any motherfucking at any passage and see the Lord spoke. Where the Bible go? Oh, I bet I could open it up at any level. At, at, look, look what I tell y'all. And the Lord spoke. Look, the Lord spoke. Ah. No matter where you, where you open up the Bible, you're going to see the Lord spoke. A bunch of motherfuckers talking to themselves. A ah! bunch of motherfuckers that's possessed. That's all you see. The Lord spoke and the Lord came out and the Lord said. <laughs> and the Lord spoke onto him. God damn it. That's on this one page. God damn. A motherfucker talking to himself all throughout the day. All throughout the day. Damn. That should make you want to go back and read the Bible now, don't it? You probably been didn't give a fuck about the Bible. That should make you want to read it now. Like, hold on, hold on. Yeah, because I remember when I did read it. And the Lord spoke. Always looked at it like if I'm speaking to somebody. So if, if I'm speaking, oh, so God can speak to people and things of that nature. So then y'all make up shit like God says something about shit. It don't got nothing to do with that. At the end of the day, you can make up anything. When you explain it to somebody else, the only way it looked like what you saying, you was talking to your goddamn self. Ah! Ah! And it ain't no way you can prove it otherwise. I don't give a fuck how many times you say, oh, no, God told me this. God told me that. You still was talking to yourself for you to get that information, bitch. Lord have mercy. This world is fucked up. It's like they really got y'all living backwards. This external shit, this externalization, reverse psychology go deep to the point that a religious person will call a person crazy singing to themselves up and down the street la 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 but yet be thinking that they talking to something outside ah ah <laughs> look let me, let me sit there look, look at this crazy motherfucker god look at this crazy person god this person walking up the street singing to themselves la 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 god you know what we got some crazy people in the world Shit your grandma might not ever understand. Dale. Ah. <laughs> Damn God, that's crazy. We sure got some people talking to themselves. Look, they out there singing. La 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 la. Why we gotta be having people talking to God? Please come fix this world for people talking to they got to. Look, ah! <laughs> have mercy. The contradiction. Oh, God. The consonant dissonance in that. It don't make no sense. All right, I'll let check this out. But, yeah, anytime you see that in a goddamn Bible, and believe this, a lot of these motherfuckers was getting spoke to. You about to start seeing that Bible with the fuck it really mean now. You about to start seeing what it mean now. You going to yell now. Ah! Ah! I 
I'm out, man. I'm fucking with y'all. I'll lay y'all some conscious community. I'm out this motherfucker. We're going to come live and direct tomorrow. And then I'll goddamn it. I got to hit the goddamn road and shit like that. But I'll fuck with y'all some conscious community. We out this motherfucker. Go ahead and take some more NATO readings this motherfucker. And we out.